Careful, I got a gun. Isn't it great? This is the trigger. Isn't it great? It's a handgun. Isn't it great? Point it, whatever you want to die. Isn't it great? Whoa. And that's how, with a few minor adjustments, you can turn a regular dank into five danks. There we go. Hello everyone and welcome back to Easy Breezy TV. My name is Breezy, your wonderful robotic cat girl vandal. How are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, today, because it is a little bit later, because I had some, uh, how do you say? I had a little bit of some therapy to go through. It was a little bit heavy, so I'm running this a little bit later than usual. Uh, so I don't want to, it's a handgun! So I don't want to dive into uh, more uh, more of the game yet, just because some people might not be able to make it. Hi Lex! Get Ow! Look at this dumb little pizza. I trade, I shall. Wrong? But, uh, so yeah, I thought, let's just have a week. nice little Gonna hangout stream. I can wield my beautiful new large body together. that you can hold and squeeze and treat like your own and probably do other stuff too. Uh, but yeah, that's me. Uh, so here we are. And uh, we're just going to, I'm going to pick up whatever links and just chat with y'all because I just want to have a nice, comfy, casual hangout stream. You know, no, no, no high pressure, no high stakes, crazy shit. Ramses, welcome. How are you doing? Hmm. 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 Ah, human blood. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good one. Um, hope everything's going well in y'all's life. How, how are things going? For me, it's, uh, you know, and, and just, I do want to be clear. Uh, the therapy I had earlier was actually very constructive. It was just, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't upsetting. It was just, you know, when you, when you work through mental stuff, some of y'all know, it, 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 it takes, it, it's processing, it takes a lot of energy. And my processor's a little out of date. I'm not going to lie. You can already kind of see me flickering a little bit with my frame rate. And my processors could use a little bit of work. Just a little bit of work or something like that. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. But hey, uh, let's go ahead and um, just pull some random stuff up here. Had an insane day. Please tell me about it. What's going on? How you? How, what? What? What made your day insane? I hope it's. I hope that uh, it's not too late to to get your day some help. I know the insane thing. It's a. Uh, it's a real mood. But uh, I'm treating it with therapy and uh, uh, making mocha coffee with marshmallows in it because I am an adult and I should be trusted with tasks or something like that. Mm. Mm. Okay, if you can't, then I will not ask you to. I would not... I don't want to put you through it if it's a lot or if it is actually indeed too convoluted to explain. I entirely understand. Hey, Carabit, howdy, how you doing? What's going on? How, how, how goes it? Whenever you come in and say howdy, I just imagine there's like this awesome frog like riding on a white horse and like flipping a hat around going yee -hoo! Um, but that that could just be me. Uh, uh, it's a good insane and two it will be huge. Ooh, <laughs> that's good news. I'm glad to hear that. I, I've had a recently kind of insane but very uh, positive day recently too, which was... It was, oh, oh, hi, how's it going? Oh god, that feels better than usual. Did they update, uh, 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 did they update my ability to feel things on my scalp? I think they might have. This new model might have more reactivity there. That, oh, that set off things. Hi, how's it going? How's it going, Lex? Thank you for that. Uh, but, but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, that's, it'll, it'll be huge. I, I can only imagine. You know what else is huge? If you look a little bit lower on my, mo okay, no, I'm not gonna, all right. I'm just gonna start by pulling up some random shit, because because I just, want, I just want to watch some shit. What do we got here? Let's look up fucking... Uh, has there been a new... Ooh, yeah, there was. There's a new thing in the memes department. Hold on. Unusual memes. What do you got for me? <clears throat> yes, I got a new body conk. Check it out. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me show you all of me. All of me. Let me show you. Where's my fucking... Hold on a minute. Let me, let me, move, my, uh, let me move my window here. Let me pull up my... Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I got I to gotta showcase myself. Hold on a moment. Uh, if I if I pull it up here, there you go. You can see more of me. Check it out. Woo! Yeah! All right. Got some very kind of updated rigging. You know, the breasts are j the breasts are already big. You don't gotta grow these breasts. They're huge, and they they go they jiggle a little bit more. As you can see, we have updated it to look like the real skin that the rest of me is made of. It, it looks amazing. Very happy with it. I've got the information for my new rigging person down in because uh, unfortunately uh, Casey was like very busy for the foreseeable future. 
future. So I had to find somebody else, but they did a wonderful job and I love it. Also, if you haven't seen, cause I guess you haven't seen this comic, check this shit out, check this out. Uh, uh, where's my, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, wait, just a minute, give me just a minute, wait a minute, there we go. There it is. Hey, how's it going? I have a shine on my glasses now. Look how fucking pretty I am. Oh my God. Can you believe it? I can't believe it, but I bet you can. No, I'm just kidding. I can't either. None of us can. No one will ever be able to believe it. It's undoable. Oh, I can also be pissed off. Check this out. Let me get in closer a little bit. Check this out. I hate Oda. I hate that fucking game because it has Oda in it. You know what would be perfect? A game without Oda in it. Every game that doesn't have Oda in it is good. I'm so fucking mad. I'm just kidding. I'm in a great mood right now. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, those are all the fun little, little, little featurettes of my, my wonderful, amazing body. My 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 wafting skirt and my 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 bouncing boobalas. You know what I mean? Thank you, Ramses. Thank you. I actually really needed that today. Thank you very much for that. It's famous VTuber Breezy Wife City and her new body. It sure is. Yes, it is, Pooch. How are you doing? What's going on with you? How's your day going? How's your life going? What's going on with you? How you been? How how's it going? Uh, I hope things are going well for you, Pooch. Uh, jealous. Wish I got a new body. One with like laser eyes and chest compartment for holding cheeses in. I mean. <laughs> I don't know if I want my chest to smell like cheese. I don't know if I can, you know, I, I, maybe I'll, maybe, maybe I'll keep a rat in here though, like a little rat friend. Because, you know, I, I'm like Garfield like that, you know, I'm like, I'm really chill. I like lasagna and I don't want to eat rats. They're my friends. Rats are your friends, everyone. Get, make, <laughs> I almost said the wrong thing. Love rats and make them a part of your home. You can see where that could have gone very wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or horns. I'd like horns. You could do horns. I know that Evie's current model has horns. Like uh, she's a, she a dragon office lady and she 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 kicking ass. Like she's doing really well with that. I drew her model. Y'all have probably seen it. I'm kind of a really good artist. Kind of really good at what I do. Uh, let me let's pull up some fucking memes and just all of us hang and chill out for a bit. I want that. Uh, let's look at the new thingy here. Also, I'll try to make sure it's at a decent volume. No. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, I think this is an okay volume. This'll do. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the doggo. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. Wait. Wait. Wait for it. Oh no! Oh, the dog's like, fuck you. <laughs> that dog did not want him to do that. Actually, hold on. I can also make this bigger. What am I doing? I, I have this in like, this is like a, a phone ratioed thing and I've got it so tiny over here. Let me, can I make this larger? Make it, make my window the big window. Let me, let me pull this up here and just make it bigger in my capture. I'm, I'm smart. I've stromed before. I've stram. I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> Let's make you big. <clears throat> if I was big. There it is. Boop. Perfect. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> Inflate it larger. Oh! <laughs> he knew he had whiskey bottles in there. He's like, I am not dropping these. They take precedence. <laughs> God damn, that dog ate that sandwich fast. What the fuck, man? Oh! <laughs> Dog's like, I'm just trying to sleep. <laughs> Has anyone ever had roommates that fuck with them when they sleep? That's such bullshit. That is such a, like, betrayal of trust. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh no. Wait. Oh god. <laughs> and it covers the evidence, too. <laughs> Have y'all, do y'all want me to, like, I'm not, it's not, I'm not playing it now because I'm still going through Somnium, but could, Okay, but like uh, I'm gonna do you want me to play the new Super Mario RPG? I've never played through that game because it never really caught my attention But I don't know maybe the modern polish will make it look uh, more appealing. I don't know but I know a lot of people like that game However, a lot of people are streaming it now, too And I don't know if anyone cares about my opinion on it How many clips are just people slipping and falling in exciting ways? You would be surprised. There are quite a few Corgi Ow <laughs> Yeah, it's just a ping pong ball. He'll be okay. Actually, I'm gonna have scented body parts is what I want my feet to smell like mint. You'd never really have... You'd never really have to wash your feet on a super regular basis as long as they don't have too much, you know, bacteria on them. It'll just be, it'll just be mint. Oh, look at this little guy! Uh, but like, you know, that'll be great then. 
I wish I was like chocolate mint flavored. I think that's kind of my general like color profile. Frankly though, I I like to think that I'm uh, I, in reality, I like to think I'm like green melon flavored. You know what I mean? It is my favorite flavor. Mint, mint and chocolate are up there though too. They are a, a potent combo. I want to be eaten. Um, let's just say I want my, um, how do I put this on Twitch? I want my, if I, if I were to drain my coolant, uh, in favor of adding more, I would like for that to taste like melon. Does that make sense? Anyway, you know, so others could enjoy it and I wouldn't just have to get rid of my coolant. <gasps> it's a platypus! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a thief! I don't want You're a thief! Who the fuck is this guy? This looks like fuck. It looks like that guy from from fucking AEW. You know what I mean? I forget his name though. That really painfully New York guy. I love him. This guy might just be a crazy guy in a safety coat though. He's crazy, but he's also crazy about safety. Wake up, babe. The new G Fuel flavor just dropped. Breezy's coolant. Hell yeah. Maybe that's how we'll get around it. Like, it will be the gamer girl piss joke, but I can just be like, uh, it, it's a, a gamer girl coolant. Huh? It, it cools gamer girls from the inside, but it'll be obviously very yellow and very, you know, the, it'll have very suggestive imagery. Nikobanu, hi! Dumb links. I can dumb links. Fuck yeah, Nikobanu, send away. I trust you. Wait, get out of here, cat. Nope. The cat's like, nah. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? No. Oh! <laughs> it's like LCL. No, oh, yeah, of course, yeah. <clears throat> it's totally not robot urine or anything. <clears throat> it's amazing what a sex android can do now. <laughs> You're right, ma'am. I have a joke uh, among me and my friends that I'm always disappointed when I'm reminded that Gamer Girl Coolant yeah. doesn't taste like apple juice. I know, right? Yeah, well, I am a fine connoisseur. You know, I, I enjoy uh, something I discovered recently. Ooh, I'll pull that up after this one. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can... I, just, I wish I could just put that in like a queue. What is with this thing? What the... Is this real? What is that? You want a car? What? Car for nobody! What the fuck do you think I am, Rich? Yeah, I'll play that next. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Bro was trying to riz me up. I'm looking for, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Is it weird to say this guy kind of has a head like a mannequin? You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, okay. You love it. We've already seen this one, but you gotta love a video where you know exactly what's going to happen. Because it was... It was caused with like zero foresight into what they were doing. They just didn't even think about it. That was a uh, uh, horrifying and acute way. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the? <laughs> Stop fighting! <laughs> Look at them. He, he was not sure about that burger or he was like kind of Taking time to like truly enjoy what? What are you? Why? Why did you do that? What the fuck? Fish ice. Why? Why? Oh god, no. The journey is usually the part that you remember, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, the system on that mule, though. Is there any possibility of survival <laughs> if a person is sucked into an aircraft engine? First thing, uh, you need to stay absolutely <laughs> calm. <laughs> oh, donkey base. Yeah, of course. Fucking satisfied! What the fuck is that? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I died a little inside when I tasted coolant for the yeah, first time, and it was just the hot salt water. Me, you know what? It depends who. Let's let's talk coolant for a short moment. This is a little bit of car information. If you if you're on a, a healthier diet, it especially makes coolant taste better. Especially if you happen to drink G Fuel. Here's a fun little tip about G Fuel, made with uh, not sugar, but uh, 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 but uh, uh, sweeteners that are spared by your body. It makes it kind of taste like warm soda. It's pretty great. Recommend it.
get your car engine changed or whatever I have to say to make this uh, okay for Twitch. Anyway. Okay, so we got a we got a link from uh, from Nikabanu here. Let's check this out. What's going on here? What do we got? What's happening? What, what's all this done? Uh, let me open this in. I'll just drag this over to the browser. Is what I'm gonna do. Copy that and throw it over here. And paste. <clears throat> what have we? That is not what I wanted to do. I feel like I do this every stream, don't I? There we go. What do we have here? Okay, uh, what's your pseudo vibe going into 2023? <laughs> I only watch romantic com- oh, hold on, you can't see those all, let me move it. I only watch romantic comedies. Uh, 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 uh your so-called, uh, god has forsaken you. I can set chickens on fire with no consequence. I've played literally hundreds of tentacle VR games. The crow is a severely underrated bird. Uh, uh, try peeing on something. Bananas are surprisingly violent by nature. Uh, uh, you got, uh, uh, I once had an intestinal parasite rampage through my body. I hate myself more every day. Oh, it'll be okay. A fellow handsome man that loves katanas cry for reasons I can't really get into. All my favorite things, like ritual sacrifices. Look at that ritual sacrifice face. And no one loves cheating the French arist aristocracy out of money more than me. You know, those are some good vibes. Uh, you know, and this is like, you know, this is going into 2023. What are we going into, like, next year? What, what, what will our vibes be next year? What, what, what do you think? What do we go for? I, for me, I, I don't know. Self-love, acceptance, uh, uh, focusing on my passions. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, I'm, I'm already getting help, you know, for my mental stuff. So that's great. You know, we're, we're being constructive. We're doing good stuff. I'm also going to get my, uh, th there's a part shipping in for my body. Uh, they were out of, uh, robo vaginas, uh, when I was, uh, when I, when I was initially built, but, uh, there's going to be more coming in. There's a lot of installations happening, but next year it should happen. Hmm. Hmm. Absolutely. So that's going to be fun. Uh, really, really looking forward to that. I will always scam the French aristocracy out of money. Always. You have to. It's just the best way to go. Uh, YouTube. You know what else I've been getting into? And this is kind of like, this is kind of boring. This is kind of white girl. This is kind of dumb. Fucking cafe vlogs. Just watching people make beverages is the most relaxing thing in the world to me. And I'll say, I don't, I don't traditionally enjoy, like, uh, how you say, um, how do I put this? I don't traditionally enjoy, like, ASMR, so I don't like them too loud, usually. But I'll just, I'll throw this on, and it'll just be like, yeah, look at that. You make the hell out of those drinks. You make that boba. I don't even know what that, what's that, mint milk tea? And a matcha smoothie? Why is it blue mint? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Why aren't more things blue? We need more things that are blue, everyone. Can we do that? That gamer girl juice is frozen. It is. Just a little bit. <laughs> What's this? Oh, hey, we have a thing from Sass. Hold on. Uh, 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 let me interrupt the... This will just be my standby. Like, if we're between links and chatting, I'll just have this going on in the background. Uh, what, what do we have from you, Sass? Let's take a look. <clears throat> also, how you doing, sweetie? Oh god. <laughs> oh no, this one. Hey, Bernsey! New classical gas! Smithers, what's happening? <laughs> time. I, I love Japanese gas. bookstore vlogs. Can't understand a thing, but holy shit, the aesthetics. No, yeah, it's so good. Smithers, help! Doesn't seem as funny to me. <laughs> what do I know? Smithers! Hi, hon. Oh my god. Sass and I, like, recently we were hanging out and Jay went to, like, take a shower. And we spent the whole... <laughs> We spent the whole time watching classical gas memes and uh, just random like weird Simpsons memes, which is why I was playing the handgun song in the intro. Because that has been stuck in my head ever since then. I, I just need to see this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did anyone else watch this when they were a kid? I absolutely did. Ah, Tunner, Tunner, it's okay. Having a nice, calm, quiet. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> anyway, I thought this was the outtake where the mouse is swearing. I love that one so much. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean that's that was a that was a weird show. Uh, but I, I definitely that was definitely my vibe when I was younger. When I was a, a wee little one. Oh yeah, Bear in the Big Blue House or what's its name in English memes are amazing. No, yeah. Uh, I watched it a lot. I was like, hell yeah. I'm glad I'm not alone with that. Like, that was one of those things that I was just like, yeah. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah, I'm gonna watch the shit out of this before nap time. Let's fucking go. I feel like I have seen these things somewhere. Not sure if it was when I was a kid. Very well, it could have just been like you knew people with kids and it was on and you were just like, oh, that. That's, that's the thing right there. Actually, hold on. Let me pull up the thing. Um, big blue house outtake. <clears throat> there it is. Here it is. This is the one I was thinking of. Well, come on, Ocho. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, this thing's a piece of shit. Let's go do something else. <gasps> yeah, come on, Hobag. Give me chicken pot pie. Hey, you're <laughs> now. Go get your sorry <laughs> ass Don't to me like that, bitch. Get out of my way, you piece of shit. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, I mean, I can believe it. <laughs> like, like, absolutely, yeah, you got, like, some fucking, you got some outtakes. Like, that's a th especially on kids' shows, like, when they need to, like, blow off some steam after all of the, like, being wholesome and shit, they, they'll just do some of that. I know that there are some, like, old recordings of, like, kids' shows where, like, the adults in it would just say some horrid shit, and there's recordings of that, because they would do it intentionally. They would have, like, venting sessions. No, yeah, outtakes are amazing. They're so good. Oh, here's one of my favorite Germa animations. Uh, shout out, Germa. We love you, Germa. Notice me, senpai. Let me tell you a sad story. <laughs> there was once a young boy who was not well liked. Could y'all hear the that enough? His friends became, the more bitter his hatred escalated. <laughs> Every Actually, I can turn up the browser. So he lost half of his face. His <laughs> eyes were swollen shut. And he That's was why. Bandages. There we go. To see how he really felt was beyond words. And every time it seemed they could just keep going, the punishment would get worse. <laughs> One day a woman stopped in to buy some bread. <laughs> he didn't listen to her. He didn't seem to care. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then one day he walked right into her bedroom. She screamed and ran out screaming. <laughs> AI story. The next morning she said to her parents, I don't know what I did to him, you're useless. <laughs> he just stood there and didn't even move. <laughs> All the while the old man tried to comfort him. <laughs> then one day there was some sort of accident. A boy was playing with his friends and the big wooden hammer fell on one of his friends. <laughs> And knocked him down as well. Oh At man! The hospital. The nurse looked on, but still, as she said, "Not that bad." And then something. <laughs> Not that bad. That this is AI writing. This is why the writer strike won. This is why we, the working class, prevailed. Is they went, "Uh oh, AI isn't where we thought it was." Yikes! <laughs> Art indeed, the best. Also, don't mind the very scantily clad anime chicks here. Uh, uh, I, I've been having a Nightcore binge lately. Uh, and apparently for some reason that has to be alongside questionable hentai. Uh, where's the, uh... Oh man, Peep the Horror! This is another really good one, hold on. More Germa, I need it. <laughs> I'm just gonna read this. Had a dream last night. Germa became like a mainstream celebrity by pioneering. <laughs> Number one streamer on Twitch. He would play a game like normal. And every <laughs> once in a while, he'd let chat peep the horror and put this like red and black pulse. Have we all seen Amazing Digital? I don't know. Kind of looked like an AI generated image. And the whole deal was that everyone who saw it thought it was the funniest thing they'd ever <laughs> seen. But every time he'd show it, one viewer who saw it would die. <laughs> It ended when he showed it on stream and dropped it dead. The stream was left on for 72 oh, hours man. to honor his memory. It was dead quiet with just his body and a slowly pulsing red mass on the screen, on screen the horror? beside him. Can I figure out how to do that? It might be fun. What? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Fuck it, we're just gonna watch Germa clips. <laughs> no, but do please feel free to send whatever. If 
I chop you up in a meat grinder, <laughs> and the only thing that comes out that is left of you is your eyeball, <laughs> you're, you're probably dead. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my favorite just <laughs> out of context quotes. <laughs> So, how many of you are familiar with this thing that happened, where he was doing a stream and suddenly ate an ear-piercingly loud sound blew out of nowhere? <laughs> this is the best explanation for it. I'm pretty sure this is adjusted for headphones to some degree. Oh my- <laughs> <laughs> That just- it just sounded like that. He doesn't know to this day what the hell happened. <laughs> What was that, dude? What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, we have another link from Nikabanu. Yay. That was actually fucking. Ah, it's fun. Ooh, what's this? Ore, 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 ore. It's so beautiful. Oh, 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 what was I saying? Don't worry about it. Let's go, class. E. All right. E. 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 I don't want to get copyright claimed. Get to the E's. Hurry. E. <laughs> this is great! This also, like, perfectly condenses these films to what they need to be. Perfect size. <laughs> like, you don't lose any of the story when you cut it down to this. It's perfect! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this? Speaking of E, this reminds you. I mean, I already injected mine, but oh, right. E E E E E E E. e. <laughs> it's the best. One more time. E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E Relaxing drink making! Everyone, sit back and relax to the calming nature of making drinks! Isn't it peaceful? Isn't it calm? It's the best thing ever! Anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You spank that slop. You get it out of there and you make a drink out of it. Oh, yeah. I really don't use my blender enough, this makes me realize. I, 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 didn't, I used to make... Oh, this is, we're already on this one. I gotta move forward. But, like, I... I used to make boba. But right now, like, I'm not- I don't live anywhere near the Asian markets, and I don't have a car anymore, so it's like, I gotta- I gotta find- maybe I just need to order tapioca pearls and just start making it again myself, because I miss that. It's nice. I even have two metal, uh, boba straws, so I don't even have to make any more plastic to happen. It's great. 
how am I going to be equipped with reusable boba straws and not use them? That's not me. I have a takoyaki machine and I use that semi-regularly. You think I'm not going to make use of boba straws? When I have the ability to make blended and iced boba drinks, how am I going to not do that? How dare I? That's disgusting. They did E. <clears throat> Who did E? Can I show this on stream? Somehow this sounds both weirdly satisfying and uncomfortable at once. No, yeah, it does. That's the thing. I, I can't do ASMR usually. Like most things, are just high-pitched things like, uh, Like if you can hear someone turning the page of a book, it's like someone scratching at your eardrums. Oh my god, that is melting. What the fuck? What? <laughs> they did E was a reference to the one before. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. <laughs> like, look at this. The, these things, if you have if you have the mix, like, it's the easiest thing in the world to make. Like, this is just, that's just milk. This is cafe latte. Milk, you take some cold brew, pour that shit on there, done. You're done. And that's not, sorry, that's not cold brew. That's, that's, a, that's a fucking uh, a, a shot of espresso. I don't have an espresso machine. However, I don't think espresso treats me super great. I, I like regular coffee. There's a lot of really great local coffee here. Recently discovered one, um... It's actually really cool. It, like, it benefits people, you know, with, like, uh, they hire people with, like, you know, who are born with, like, you know, physical, uh, uh, impairments, and it, it gives them, like, work, and it, it the, the way they do it, it's not like a machine-roasted thing, it's like a sun-dried method, and it tastes like fucking pancakes and fruit, dog, like, it's ridiculous, the notes in this thing, like, I, it, I am obsessed with this one now, and it's gonna be a while till I'm off with it. I also do kind of wish I was closer to one of my favorite coffee shops out here, though, because there's one that... I've talked about it before, but they have, like, a black sesame matcha, which tastes as amazing as you'd imagine it would. It's like a sweet matcha drink, but with, like, uh, you know, enough in, in, like, you know, it's matcha. You know what I mean? Like, they don't over-sweeten it. Um, but, like, it's just a matcha drink, but they make the matcha blended with, like, black sesame. Oh, they made a mess. And it, so it basically tastes like, what if you added halva to it? And it's like sex. It's liquid sex. I never need to have physical contact again if I could just drink that all the time. So I need to master how to make that myself. I've got the, I've got the chasha, I've got the, all the little bits of, you know, I, I always, I buy matcha myself. I just need to, what did they do? Did they just blend the, the black sesame seeds? I want to make it. I need to figure out how they did it. And that would change my life. It would be amazing. Though I do want some of these drinks, though. That's the other sad thing. We have an amazing coffee place out here. You know, where, where Seattle has the burnt-ass terrible coffee and, 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 Star, and Starbucks. We've got, uh, we got Black Rock Coffee. Uh, their cold brew, plain, some of the best coffee I've ever had in my life. It's amazing. Uh, and, but they also make, like, blended coffee drinks that still actually taste like they have coffee in them. And I love it. And, uh, I am, uh, I, they're called Blondies, and I, uh, I am, I am... I'm kind of a simp for them. I kind of love them. They're really good. Blackrock, you should you should hire me. Uh, give give me sponsorship, and I will make everyone drink your delicious liquids. Okay, we can have a link from Nikabanu. <clears throat> Hold on, coffee, stop. Okay, what do we have here? What's this X? This has never been here before. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Ah. This rock appears to be- wait, hold on. Ah! I- Wait! No! No! What did you do? No! No! That sucks! Oh no! That's terrible! Why would you do that? What the fuck? I made it full screen. I gotta take that down. <laughs> what the fuck, man? No! That's so bad. Why did they do that? That poor ferret? Uh, whatever that Pokemon is, he's having a bad day. That's... The Pokemon need a better union. We gotta work on this. Ooh, that... I did not expect that. That fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy, he wants that ice cream. 
<laughs> okay, here. Let's learn to make coffee. Check this shit out. Boom. Brown sugar latte. Done. You just put brown sugar in here. You make coffee. You pour milk on it. You're done. That's how simple it is. Look at all the things we could be making at home, but we don't because we're lazy or we can't get the equipment. It's so simple. See, though, if I get my hands on brown sugar syrup, that's going to be the end of me, like, having any health whatsoever. Like, I've stopped having the money to really, like, put money into, like, buying salads and stuff, so I just kind of eat food that fills me. And I, you know, I discovered what I'm drinking right now. I discovered how to make mocha was as easy as making coffee and throwing cocoa into it. My health will never be the same again. It, that ruined everything. The more I learn how to make delicious things in my own home, the more I will actually do that, and it will be the detriment of my health forever, for many years to come. What's that one there? A strawberry latte? It's just like strawberries in there and some milk. That's amazing. I also still can't get over how blue their mint flavored things are. That's such a cool aesthetic choice. Because, you know, there's probably so many green drinks already. Ooh, more links. Uh, what do we have here? Now listen here, you. <laughs> ah, bussy mix. Let's fucking go. The delicious taste. I don't like that it looks a little dirty and worn, you know? It's like, uh, this is clearly like some kind of a mug or something. And, and it, it looks like it's taken a beating, you know, maybe, uh, you know, but it, it's, it's tough. It's resilient, you know, and as a good bussy should be. Wonderful stuff. I love to see that. I also can't get over the fact that, like, I, I know this logo. It has the bear with the ice lolly. But, like, this also kind of looks like whatever that, uh, almost like a Denny's, actually. But I was going to say this kind of looks like one of the peanut butter brands, and I can't think of what it is right now. But anything that says bussy makes me laugh. <clears throat> she owns it for probably 10 years now. Oh, damn! No, yeah, I mean, that's that's holding up. I, I'm currently using a mug that I actually got um, back when uh, you could occasionally get things from companies on Amazon that would last more than a week. And uh, it's really good. Very, very sturdy. I've not been super delicate with it, but it uh, it has a tea brewing basket in it uh, that you can use and like a little cover to keep things hot. And I love it. It's amazing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bussy Mix sounds like a social media not safe for work art caption. I mean, it, it is. It's a think, think, uh, think that that starts with a P, but a little bit further back. Maybe more associated with more often uh, uh, boys, perhaps. Bussy. <laughs> the, back, the back pussy. The, the back side. I said the word. Oh no, I'm demonetized. Everyone, help me. German children's book that I loved in my childhood. Oh, what's this? Oh my god. Kinder Bibliothek. Bussy bar. You know... <laughs> we here in the States have kind of ruined that word. <laughs> okay, you know what bussy is. Good, 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 good. Happy to hear that. <laughs> oh, hey, German. Oh yeah, look, German. Look, look at the... Look at the hold on, can I, can I zoom in? I don't think I can zoom in. This is so small. <laughs> Bussy just means kiss in German. I mean, it could be a kind of kiss, depending on your language or your lingus, as we, as we will. Um, but yeah, you know, you can, you, can, you can make it work. You can make that work. I, I, I'm trying to think what, what you would call that. It's on, like, the rim of my tongue. I can't remember, but don't, don't mind me. Uh, right, 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 right. So we were... Right, this person continues to make coffee. And I, I want you to really look at the, the sheer skill. Like, this person knows what they're doing. They've been doing this for a long time. They're just like, yeah, let's heck and go. I also, I love any beverage that just has, like, a sandwich, you know? That just has, like, a giant ice cream filled macaron on it. Like, dog. That's a ma- oh, okay, that's just with it. Have you ever seen one served with those, just on top, in the- in the whipped cream? And it's just like, yes, give me diabetes. That's better than not having it. This looks so damn good. But this is stupid. Bussy Bear? Kind of an ass, to be honest. Oh, shit! All we got was Pooh Bear. That was a little more direct. Mm-hmm. Ah, mocha coffee. It makes me go silly bonkers. Whoa. Uh -oh. Okay, so wait, we have... We got, like, matcha, you got, like, peach... Oh, peach iced tea? When was the last time I had a peach iced tea? I miss it. I gotta have me a peach iced tea someday soon. That was so... 
It's so good. Oh, what's this there? Stop making coffee. Okay, there we go. Oh, dead name? I killed and ate that guy. Uh, forward his mail to my address. <laughs> Getting a call from someone you knew before you transitioned. Hell yeah. I think I've told people that before. I've just been like, oh no, yeah, I actually killed that person and took their place. Just send it here. It's amazing the silence that you're treated with when you say that, because for a minute, they're just like, what? What? What are you? Are you, are you, are you self-reporting? What, what, what are you doing? This is sus. Uh, but by then, you've long hung up. You know what I mean? It was easily my least favorite part of bubble tea spots. What? What is it? Is it the, uh, is it the, what, what, what do you mean, what is, what is it about it that you don't care for? Do tell me, I'm curious. <clears throat> is it just the extremely, like, decorative teas, or like, not the teas, like the, uh, just the, the weirdly overcomplicated drinks with the extra things in them? Oh, the ice and the gr- oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those noises can be a lot. I, that's the thing, I usually, I was mentioning, I, I usually have things with like high-pitched noises, and I don't like ASMR, but it, somehow I get past it with this. Like I said though, like high, high fidelity turning a page and writing something with graphite makes me want to rip my eyes out of my sockets. And I got bad news for you, my eyes don't have their own AI in them, and they are not sexy little eyeball waifus like we have in, a, in the Somnium Files games, they're just mechanical eyes. No, I want all these drinks, too. I, I watch these because in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to learn how to make these. And then I never do. Like, I'm never going to, right? That's like how most people watch cooking shows. They're like, I, I want to see how they make food. Maybe I'll do it sometime, but you never will. It's like that with this with me. Though, I don't know, you know, once I know where to get the ingredients, I could. I mean, that, that's the thing. Like I said, I, I've, I've made a lot of the things I've seen or enjoyed and gone like, yeah, no, you know, I'm going to learn how to make this. And then I do. Now, granted, it's easier to just go down the street and get it from somewhere, sure. But if I can do it myself, I don't have to be around people. And on days when I'm a little more reclusive, which I'm not going to lie, y'all, I've been a lot more reclusive lately. Like, my brain has been having trouble connecting with people. I'll have, like, uh, Jay and I will have our girlfriend and our friendo on, on, like, a video call, and then, like, I'll just have to leave for, like, half-hour moments in time because it's too much. Just like being social and being around people and being perceived drains me. And I don't understand why it is. I think it's just, you know, years of masking have taken a, a bit of a blow to my head and I don't know, I've been in a weird place, but we're, we're working. That's why I have a therapist. That's why I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And as I always tell y'all, ultimately I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Love meeting with people, but I hate going outside. No, yeah. I also find myself like being like, yeah, I love being around people. And then like right after doing so, I need to hermit for like two days and stay in bed. Because it, j I shut down. I can't do it. It's too damn much. Bold of you to assume money is a real thing. It, it, it's not. <clears throat> it really isn't. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, it was from the... Um, Oh, there's, a, there's another link here. I'm so far behind. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let uh, me pause that. We got some more links here. Let's take a look. What's all this then? Uh, Hello. audio. Ma'am? Okay, I know you're crying, but let me, let me look at that fit first. <laughs> <laughs> what the Ooh. fuck? Let me, no! Let me absorb your fit. This is like a oh, fake, like, ad, right? This is like a fake ad for, oh. like, a mobile game. Honestly, we're... this is. <laughs> let me take a selfie. Look... <laughs> See, you know what it is? She got that, she got that Amame Riz. You know, she got that AI Somnium Files Amame Riz, where it's like, even sad, she looks fucking snatched. Look at that. <laughs> She's sobbing. This isn't about her. <laughs> She's crying, and then we stole her fit. How are you going to do that? That's so cold. Why would you do that? <laughs> like... <laughs> here's how you do the... Okay, I just saw that message uh, up here. Uh, here's how you do the drink. Take money, go to the store that sells them. But that's hard, and they're far, and I don't have a car anymore. I don't want to do it. And uh, there's this link here. <laughs> I'm a social vegan. I avoid meat. 
listen, you're calling me out here, and you're correct. Uh, that game is bad and fun. My friends said, it's a real game? Holy shit, that's amazing! Well, fuck, I know what we're playing sometime on this channel then. Holy shit, that's a Switch game. All right! <laughs> Send a link to that in the chat. Oh, not in chat. Send a link to that in the Discord. I also need to make, like, a game recommendation Discord for my channel. I, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. If you're not already on my channel, you should be. Yes, the Easy Breezy Discord. It's as easy as, uh, uh, this, uh, mm -hmm. There it is. It's right there. It'll be in those with all of my other social links. All of my artwork, my not safe for work artwork, my, my etc., my things and what have you, and my VODs and my extra things on YouTube and all of that other junk, and also my Discord, which should be at the top if I did it right. If I didn't, you know, it's fine, whatever. I don't care. Uh, uh, um, 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 yeah, yeah, but if y'all know the name, please let me know. I would, I would absolutely play that. That sounds like there is much fashion dream. Oh my god, that sounds so dumb. I want to play it now. <laughs> like, that would be great. All the other junk, wrong site. <laughs> not that kind of junk. If I can't show mine, I'm not showing someone else's for free. Hmm. Very stupid and great for a few hours. That sounds like a great one-off stream, then. That sounds great. We'll, we'll have to do that at some point. I mean, look at how much fun we already had with, with you know, Suica game. Like, the real Suica game is getting your head watermeloned by some very, very powerful thighs. Did I just say that out loud? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm totally normal. I, I, I don't know what sex is. I'm a nerd, y'all. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an innocent, adorable nerd, and I don't know anything. I'm just like, what's a penis? I don't know what anything is. <laughs> anyway, that's me. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. That's Miku Horror, let's heckin' go. Show me the Miku Horror. Uh, wait. wait. scoop it up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's me! Goku! It's me! It's me! Goku! Uh-oh. <laughs> Miku is going to come in, and she is going to devour your soul. I also don't know what watermelons are. are you, really? No. No, you're, you're joking. Really? Hold on a minute. <clears throat> There's that thing that G Fuel tastes like. If, if you get the one that does. See? It's these things here. Sometimes they have, like, the dark seeds, which aren't, like, so much supposed to be edible, but these are the seedless ones that have, like, the little, like, easier-to-eat soft seeds in them. Oh, Suica game, I heard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Suica game, it's... Uh, I've, I've gotten the melon a few times. I've gotten the pumpkin a few times. I can't get... I can't make two of them, and I especially can't make two of them touch. But when you do that, apparently they disappear, and so it gives you more room to make more points and keep going. I don't think I'm ever gonna do that. Uh, that's that's levels of though. I will say Jay is addicted to it though. Jay Wife City, uh, you know my own roommate, my own lover. She will sit here, and she will play it like while chatting with friends. I just have it on the on the switch, standing up on top of the audio interface, and I'm just like, okay, I don't need physical attention or anything. That's fine. What's this? But it's very addictive. It's very fun. <clears throat> the best three dollars I ever spent. Let me tell you. <clears throat> what the? Why did I have to download it? <laughs> what do you? <laughs> what just happened? I I'm afraid to open this. Velikus, what the fuck? Why are you guys so surprised? You've should have seen this coming ages ago. Okay. Thought I would just open in the browser. I mean, uh... I have no friends. I'm from Finland. I'm an alcoholic. Like somewhere down the spiral, I was gonna start wearing dresses. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I just inhaled something. Excuse me. <clears throat> the pics can't see. Uh, let me let me try again. Hold on. Let me uh, let me heckin' freaking dang and show that. Yeah, no, it won't open in the thing. It won't open in the darn thing. Why is it? Oh my god. It's not working. Boop. Hold on a minute. Weird. Uh, let me let me just capture the window here. Capture the window. Throw it up on here. Ski do do de do de do de de de. Window. Uh, existing one. Right over here. There it is. All right. What the hell's all this, son? What the fuck? Why are you guys so surprised? You should have seen this coming ages ago. Okay. 
I watch Forsen. I have no friends. I'm from Finland. I'm an alcoholic. Like somewhere down the spiral, I was gonna start wearing dresses. And I'm in computer science. Okay. That's usually like computer so science is basically the uh, technology to trans gateway. Um, I did not get the. I'm good with computers, but I'm not like in computer jobs, so I, I kind of skipped a step. I'm like one of those rarities where like you get an anime without having a shonen like you know running thing on like Shonen Jump. Like you don't have a series in book form, but suddenly they just go right to the animation. I'm one of those. I'm an Akudama Drive among Naruto. You know what I mean? I am I am the greatest. I am the, the finest there is. Computer science is also for... No, yeah. Well, here's the thing. You need to work in an advanced field to afford fursuits. They're very, very expensive. Uh, and a lot of my friends who have them work much more impressive jobs than I do. Case in point. This is my job. How am I doing? <laughs> Honestly, I think I make about as much doing this right now as I do artwork. But uh, one day... One day I'll make more. Number go uppy. You never know. One day I might even get lucky. Who can say? Speaking of, uh, hop onto the Discord and all of my other socials. They're right down there. I, I'm the rare trans girl that's bad with tech. I, I'm, I mean, kind of the same, but like, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm good with computers and that I know how to make them run. I can't build one. And I'm not great at fixing problems, though I do know how to look up how to fix a problem and I understand what it says. But I'm not like, you know, I'm not like super skilled in it. And like, I don't have the qualifications to anyway. I couldn't bullshit my way into a job. Uh, what's this? <clears throat> I can't fix my throat. It's always full of crap. What the hell? You know, this be like, ah, ha, ha, it's Tuesday and it's, yeah, I'll show your arms up, you duff coin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Gala region is having a little bit of some, uh, some stuff. What's this? Reggie Rat, very cute. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. This is, a, these are some, uh, some, uh, some Moe eyes. If I click that, anything could happen. I mean, I know it's on YouTube, but goodness. Literally, those are people I tried to hire. Oh my god. Uh, uh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Wait a minute, wait a give it just a minute. I can Google good, it's likely the only skill I care about. <clears throat> no, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Anything on, like, beyond the first page of Google might as well be the dark web to me. I, I've only known two people in my life who knew how to, like, get to, like, multiple links through to order illegal things. And I'm not going to say who, what, where, or how. But I knew people who knew how to operate on the dark web. I did not, and I don't to this day. I have no fucking clue how that works. So ravens are excellent at mimicking <gasps> Ooh, Corvus! Mischief, can you say hello? Hello. Good bird. Corvuses are the best birds. It does all sorts of voices. You say, hi. Hi. Good job. <laughs> Sometimes he hears people who have a cold. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I, I, I love, I, I love the dark birds. They're so wonderful. And they're so fucking smart too. Corvuses are so fucking smart. Yeah, no, all, they're so damn cute. Corvuses are wonderful. More talking raven, let's go. Come and prepare, don't we? What do you got for us? Come on, friend. Say hello. You alright? I told you. You alright? <laughs> you, gonna, you gonna say anything, buddy? You're putting him on the spot, though. You're putting too much pressure on the boy. No. What do you got for me? You all right, man? <laughs> you all right there? Are you all right? Are you all right? I'm all right. You all right? You all right? You all right, mate? It's so great. The fact that the bird can cough is so funny. No, yeah, you know, that's definitely, that was easy to pick up at a certain time. And I'm not talking about the bird flu. But up, up, but up, up. Okay, I'm done. Anyway, moving on. Uh, what about, let me see here. Where's my, I don't know what anything is. Here's the thing. If I go to just like my, my VTubing stuff, if you go into just like easy breezy, if I look at my watch later, it's all just like drawing videos because I'm an artist and I like watching people draw things. <laughs> Tuesday. 
Okay, anyway. Uh, but, you know, it, it's just very, like, if I look at my watch later, a lot of it's just like, oh, here's how to draw stuff. Here's art. Here's learning how to art, which is fun, but that's not me teaching you, and so I'm just kind of stealing stuff. However, um, if we can, uh, if we can find uh, just a fun, just a fun little whatever, just a fun little nothing, you know what I mean? Just a, something kind of fun, whatever. But I, I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, for some reason, I'm just not finding, uh, just not finding the thing here. Uh, what do we have in the way of, uh, uh... Oh yeah, that's another thing, too. Also, also... <clears throat> uh, I know someone who absolutely terrified of birds and, like, how just look at these cute little freaks. No, yeah, I love birds so much. I'm always very sure to make sure that, you know, Bisky doesn't bully the corvids in the area because we got some beautiful, beautiful crows and, like, you know, grackles and <clears throat> etc. in the neighborhood and they're so damn cute and we love them. But uh, she doesn't usually mind birds or cats even. Just Bisky is just nuts about dogs. She seems to like squirrels too, but, you know, she doesn't try to chase them or nothing. Sonic and chill. Can I throw out the sound in the background? Would this be safe? Well, you know, no, no copyright, hmm? I don't know. Just something to have in the back between things, just so I'm not too silent. Ah, uh, giant gems. You know, the world wasn't as full of things I thought there would be. Pickle jars of organs, uh, falling anvils, quicksand, and giant gems. Not a lot of them when you're an adult. You're gonna grow up to find there aren't a lot of gems. Also, I don't see a lot of media outside of things that were properties like Sonic that already had it, utilizing the concept of a giant gem. Nothing has giant gem worlds anymore. And I miss it, you know what I mean? Wait, no, get out of here. Stop playing! There we go. What's all this then? Goaded with the sauce. Oh god, I have so many tabs. Close these tabs. I do not need them. Come now, get lost. There it is. Who's this? Got your nose. Okay, 2001 called. They hit the second tower. <laughs> Got your nose. Okay, that is good. <laughs> Star Trek has crystals, does it? Is there like modern Star Trek? What am okay. I saying? Of course there is. Of course there's modern Star Trek. Of course. Uh, here's the thing. The oh my god, capital late stage capitalism sucks because they have now fully wrung out everything that anyone wants to see with any level of nostalgia, and now they're just going. We we can't afford to take a chance on anything new. We need to keep using these things and wringing them out. However. Uh, the Scott Pilgrim anime is really good. Highly, highly recommend it. No spoilers in chat, just because I'm a, a couple episodes from the end, but very good. Very, very good. Uh, they did something different with it, and I love what they've done. So, good stuff. Uh, uh, definitely, that's the thing. If you're going to reuse a property, do something new with it. That's my only argument for any kind of, like, you know, reutilizing a thing. Uh, oh, hey. Anime. Uh, let me see here. Where am I looking at? Man, Brad, Brad Taste in Music is seriously just my new favorite thing in the world. It's also where I got this clip from. If you like penis, ain't getting caught. So that's that. Um, but yeah, no, he's he's great. However, do y'all have any recommendations for someone who talks about like, can we get a music reviewer who isn't like a white person in their mid 20s like that? That's so I need a new fucking point of view. You know what I mean? Started reading Scott Pilgrim for the first time in my life like two days ago. It's really good. It's really good I was let down by the movie because I had seen the end of the manga But they started the movie making the movie before that they were out So I was like, oh, I didn't get to see the rest of the X's. I didn't get to see what happens Yeah, exactly. Fantano. Well, let's think Fantano is like, you know, he's he's like, you know, he's I, I, I think he's white anyway But you know, he's he's you know, he's like that and he's like he's like kind of like he's a young white dude and like then you've got like you know even admittedly you know brad there and then you've also got I, i'm trying to remember what they're called jay's been watching them but there's these like two guys who are just two white dudes and it's just like can i please hear and like a like someone who's been around for music a little longer with more diversity in their like you know background to talk about this shit because i have to imagine i'm missing out on a lot of information 
Like, that's like only getting your history lessons from white people, where it's like, D dog, you are missing everything from this. You are getting there's so much missing. The only one I really know is uh, uh, Todd in the Shadows, and I don't really like their work. Oh, for sure. That, that's the thing. Whenever anyone finds someone who's like a little more like diverse and has like a, a, a different, uh, you, you know, like, you know, I just, I, I'm tired of looking at white people, okay? I'm tired of looking at white men who go, I'm 25, I'm basically a grandpa. It's like, I'm going to throw you out a fucking window, you chud. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. I definitely understand why people love it so much, especially when you put it into like context of when it was originally written. Oh, yeah. And like I, I went into um, I've been to Toronto, like kind of closer to when that was relevant. And uh, it had that I'm trying to remember what the name of it is, but there's like some shop there. And I don't know if it's still there. It probably is. But it came up in the manga. I remember it was like a very like it's the shop run by this guy who his whole thing is like, these deals are so low. I'm wacky. Uh, they, it's just like I was in that shop and I forget what its deal was or what it was called, but it was in there. It was in the comic. And I was like, oh, I've been there. Uh, Toronto was great. However, since I went to Toronto when I was maybe like, I want to say like 10, 11, it's a lot bigger. It's, it's, it's larger. Like they, they've grown so much as a city uh, since I was last there. So if I went there, there would be like a million new things to see, but it was like a tiny little New York. It was amazing. <clears throat> that is not a name. What's this? Thought I copied just the name. Uh, <laughs> well, let's give it a look, shall we? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, it didn't load. Damn it! <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, there. There's some. Uh, what was the name of the fight? I don't. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. But I don't know. They sold everything from like glassware to a moose head. It was ridiculous. They had like a, there's like a staircase in the middle where you go up, and there's like some furniture. But just like, what a neat fucking shop that was. That was one of those just like, oh hell yeah, dog. Honest ads. That's it. Let me see if I can look this place up. A little bit of Toronto stuff. Oh, it was for sale. Oh, did they close it? Oh, no! <laughs> My last visit before they closed. Well, that's a fucking bummer, but let's take a look. Uh, but yeah, no, it was like a... It was like, what if New York but cozy? You know what I mean? Small enough that it wasn't ridiculous, but like, it was definitely a big city in its own right. And they're apparently, like, much larger now. You I don't know what anything looks like post-COVID, you know, but like at the time, it was just it was it was it was definitely grown quite a bit. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Make this a little louder. Proprietor Ed Mervish, who opened the store in 1948. 1948. Operation for almost 60 years until his death in 2007. Yeah, no, that's how it looks. The store continued to operate until it like it's so bare bones, but it's so perfect in that. 2016. So this is a short video. Just a little just of everything. I remember when I was a small boy, my parents used to bring me here shopping. It, it was such a fucking wild so thing. But yeah, yeah, you go upstairs, sale. there's like all of this like just furniture ass furniture. Like, yeah, there's like moose horns on a chair. Like, what is this? It's amazing. But just everything, anything and everything here. It was just so great. Like, what a what a beautiful gem that I'm sad to see is gone from Toronto now. That's really sad, because that was one of the absolute highlights of my uh, my visit out there years ago. Uh, I want to try a new blackberry tea G Fuel flavor. It's only 15 servings apparently. Why is it only 15? Can't can't you get it on the, on the website? They're having a bogo right now. That's right, y'all. G Fuel's having a bogo. It's a countdown to uh, to uh, um, um, uh, uh, Black Friday, so yeah, definitely go for that. Is that the Gohan flavor one? I almost went for that, but then I was like, no, you know, I wanna, I wanna actually do the. Uh, wh what do you have? What do you say? Um, but I was like, no, I, I decided to go with like a. a, a I got more Rage Drive because I missed Rage Rage Drive like. It, it's so... Because, like, Corgi, I think you were telling me about how much Rage Drive was good, and I was like, fuck, I, I kind of liked that one. Um, but I... Uh, so I, I guess I didn't do anything new this time. I just got, like, the, the black light cover version of the peach rings, because I missed that one. So getting some peach and some melon flavor, and that's going to be great. But that's the current thing that I have invested in. 
Welcome to yesterday. But I also, I really love, um, I'm going through right now the last of our last order. The Nuka Cola Quantum is amazing. It tastes like those creamy lime candies that you get at the end of like a decent meal when you're eating out and they have those little round candies that are like a yin yang of like, you know, vanilla and lime. It kind of tastes like that. It's blue and it tastes really good. Weirdly exactly how I would imagine it would have tasted from the game and from its coloring. What's all this then? Uh, let me see here. My humor is so shit. I found this super funny. Amujan Hyper. Oh, for Amujan Hyper. Let's bring it back here. <laughs> is this Suavemente? That, that was the question. Have y'all seen Suavemente? Suavemente. It's the, the thing, someone, someone put it to, the, 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 there was like a, it was like Link and, and Zelda, and then, and then the, oh, oh no, it's Ganondorf. And he, he just, you have, okay, good. That's important. That's important that everyone's seen that. That, that is some must-see. Is this safe to play? I mean, it's on YouTube, but... What? <laughs> He's there, you just can't see him. Uh. <laughs> 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 that wiggly tough is getting raw, dog. <laughs> what is it, dear? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad hold on, wait, I have a thing for this. <laughs> The Ash Portrait. <laughs> <laughs> oh Wiggly my god, I've never it. seen this game. Uh, oh man, that is incredible. I mean, it makes me think of like, you know, I've got the, it's not on here, but on, uh, I think it's on the Wife City Discord, we have the little like Bomberman thing that you ride those big like creatures. Uh, and like, uh, when you, when you get bombed out and you're dead, like it, it, it just has this look on its face like, uh, it's like, oh, okay, that was, um, so that's now the fluffy lewd reaction on there. Uh, PMD explores the sky. Wiggly tough is bottoming. No, yeah, uh, w being tough, but wiggly nonetheless, and, and very much assuming the position. <laughs> wiggly tough bottoming! <laughs> Oh, that is delightful. I love seeing that. That's a wonderful thing. So tell me, if I may, I'm just gonna throw this question out here. How many of you have bottomed? Have you? Hmm? Did you prep well? Did you enjoy it? It's fun, right? Huh? Huh? Anyway, uh, as I was, uh, where's my... <laughs> oh, hey, another link. Whoop. I almost clicked on everything's coming up Millhouse, so you uh, you definitely uh, hit it in the right time. Oh, this looks familiar. Drug? No drugs. Folklore is my drug. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm trying to number station here. Play the thing. <laughs> this one's always good, let me see. <clears throat> What's all it is then? Okay, now I already clicked that one. What am I doing? Uh that's wait, what, how did I did I not Was that the bite of 87? Oh wait, no, something is Ah Is, is this <laughs> no. Uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe just a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. Oh my. What? Oh my god. I. Death is better than sex. <laughs> better than sex. No. No. You know. Just. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one. I think that's new. Okay, and that was the one I just opened, right? Wait, no. Ah! But what's happening? Hold on. Don't autoplay into that. That's so loud. Oh my god. Jesus heckin' Christ. Yeah, okay. So we got that one. Uh, let me see here. Uh, what's the song is so th so threatening in this context? 
I mean, I don't know. Hold on a minute. Let me um, <clears throat> let me see here. No, it is though. Uh, here we go. Here, coming up, Millhouse. Screw it. Let's go. So this was the person Dankmus, I guess, is responsible for the the handgun song I opened up the stream to. But Sass and I were watching the hell out of these the other day. <laughs> Everything is coming up, Millhouse. Understand the key to my art is anger. You know me, I'm Mr. Mellow. So I'm giving you kids permission to get me mad. Come on, give me what you got. Well, I'm fucking math, and the other day I was a little attracted to Millhouse. Well, I'm fucking math. Well, I'm fucking math. Like these songs have no right being the bop that they are. Mm. Well, I'm Almost inhaled Coco. I just descended from Coco. Hey, Magumbo, welcome! As you can see, we're doing nothing but serious business today. Why is Bart saying a cuss? Is he? I've been watching too many Lethal Company videos and it's killing me. Oh man. What is that? I don't know that one. Uh, he should not say such things. What's he saying? He's saying he was flunking math. Uh, is that illegal to flunk math? If so, I am a multiple time felon, my friendos. Like, I am... Like, it's a... It's a... <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing now. Thought he was saying I'm fucking mad. No, no, no. He's saying I'm flunking math, and the other day I was a little attracted to Millhouse. <laughs> this one you gotta let it cook. <laughs> Not Lenny! <laughs> okay. Alright, that's enough, that's enough. Anyway, moving on. Get rid of that. Get rid of the link. No, go away. Go away. Close the link. I don't... I, there you go. What the hell? What is all this then? Heal the grass Tyson eats a Reuben sandwich in an empty airport terminal. See, this is making me want a Reuben though. This is a mood, you know? Can you get like a good Reuben? Like that's the thing, I'm trying to think where you would get like a good Reuben at like an airport terminal. I don't think sandwiches, you know, when I go to an airport terminal. I'm like, oh, I get some like crappy, like Americanized Chinese, maybe some fast food, I don't know. But like, get a good ass Reuben though? One with that crunch though? I don't know, man. The Callisters, oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe. I also haven't been on a plane in a very long time. I'm trying to remember when the last time would have been. It might have been like... God, I don't even remember. Was that like... Wouldn't have been Toronto, but it might have been going to... Would that have been Atlanta? I don't remember. I haven't been on a plane in a long time. It's been a grip, though. No, that wouldn't have been- that's right, I, I moved- I, I moved to, like, places for a few months and then, like, job prospects immediately fell out from under me and it was really horrid, but, um, I was on a plane. Wasn't enjoyable, but I was on a plane. Only been in first class once. I missed it. Have you seen the baked in a buttery flaky crust video? I, I'm pretty sure. Is that the buttery biscuit bites thing? Uh, the, uh, the bleakest airport meal I've had was rushing through a Bubba Gumps in the, uh, Cancun airport. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, no, go ahead. Let's see if I've, I. It sounds familiar, but let me let me throw it on and we'll find out if I've seen it before. Because I don't I don't know. Either way, it might be fun. Probably more fun than watching Neil deGrasse Tyson have a depressing sandwich. I'm trying to think though, what all have I had in an airport other than just like getting pizza flavored combos and calling it a meal? Um, I definitely got like some spicy chicken at like a little Chinese place. Um, and I I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember now. Wait, hold on. That's good. Isn't this going to? Isn't this going to like this? Might will this set off my uh, my 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 copyright stuff? Is this gonna mute? I don't know if it's mashed up enough. Oh my devil trigger! I have resolved to never spend money beyond like yeah combos or something since then. <clears throat> no, yeah, and see that's the thing too. Is like mostly airports. Uh, you know what really pissed me off? Once when I was in an airport. This was like the last time I went on vacation. I think with my folks, like way back when. Tin roof rusted. The last time I went to an airport, I asked them for an aviator. Now I know that they're not like the Air Force or whatever, and that's where a friend of mine learned about it. But when you're in an airport and you ask for an aviator and the biggest like kind of bar stand at the airport doesn't know what the fuck an aviator is. What are you doing? Are you serious? Really? Anyway, that's that. I, I think it's supposed to like resemble like a, you know, a, a dark blue morning sky. <clears throat> uh, but, you know, it, it, it kind of like a like what if the apple teeny was made of like some kind of, you know, I don't know, some violet bitters or whatever. But I was I was down for it. I wanted to try it. I ended up just getting an apple teeny. It was okay. It was fine. Uh, what's all this then? Hold on a minute. Is that why it's called Naviator? I believe so. But you know what? We don't like to assume here. Oh, hey, it's the thing with the with the with the emu chocobo. Then I'll pull it up and we'll find out. We're gonna learn. I like learning something. You know, we we do that here. We do that together. We learn. <coughs> Square has a triangle. I don't know why. Uh, that's way more poetic than I thought. Well, I mean, let's see. What's an aviator? Let's let's learn today. How? God, I'm gonna mess up my algorithm. My algorithm. I can't talk. Uh, how to mix an aviator? Is that right? Uh, here we go. Or aviation, whichever. Let's have a look. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a Takumi's Aviation. So back okay, in 2010 sure. in Athens, Gary Regan judged a Diageo Can everyone hear the mixologist? Let me turn him up. ...the best aviation and he judged this one as the best recipe. And it doesn't actually have creme de violet. <laughs> Never uh, heard of this Takumi, drink, it's fascinating. Japanese bartender used parfait armoire. Ah. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Translates to perfect love. I'm actually love. using different Ooh. brands to what is listed as the original It involves recipe. bussy. So, the original recipe calls for Tanqueray number 10, uh, which is a very citrus forward gin and it's got a lot of huh. grapefruit. It so it's a gin, so it's definitely gin. a proper cocktail. Sorry, I'm not going to use my gin all the time. I, I was very particular that martinis use, were made with gin is, when is I was a mixologist. Suit, I was such a uh, fucking nerd. What a different grapefruit. time in my life that was. Gin. Um, the original recipe called for Gifford's maraschino liqueur instead of Laxado, and it called for Marie Brazard Cafe. I'm Alain. having memories. But the last this time I was on a plane, I had definitely on transitioned. So I'm using what I have on the shelf. Because I remember I was worried about like the x-rays being weird, but they didn't search me. But I'm trying to remember what the hell I was go doing on a plane. Like, where was I going? I'm having memories too, but I'm also having memories. Big bougie about cocktails is great. Eh, I guess that's fair. If you're going to drink something bad for you, you might as well do it right. You know? So this one is 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of Refold aromatic gin or tank gin or any gin that you have at home. Uh huh. And 15 mil, half an ounce of your preferred. Oh, yeah, freaking maraschino. maraschino like, oh maraschino my god, like that stuff. Is like, oh my god, that stuff. Real talk, mixologist is one of those words that makes the activity yeah. seem Blast less cool food. than it is. No, yeah, Blast. Blast. absolutely. It makes you sound like a nerd, but it it's actually makes Blast you a nerdy partying person, but you're still a nerd. 
Just be very careful. Being a nerd is okay. Year. It just means you're really good at something and invested in a thing. Double measured the I'm a T nerd. I'm a music nerd. 10 mil. I'm annoying to listen to. Of an ounce of but I'm I know what I'm doing and I'm fun too, if you're into that sort of shit. So I get a lot of people ask about the lemon lime juice that I use. It is always freshly squeezed. Um, you got it's gotta be you gotta have, have that freshly squeezed you got it what are you what are you doing no, don't get the little like containers what are you so doing <laughs> hell yeah t hell yeah i also once made a um i had like some loose leaf um what was it called earl gray i was really into earl gray that was the first tea that really got my attention and i made a cocktail out of it and it was fucking amazing y'all it was just insanely good uh, but I made that, I think, with gin, because that also had citrus poop. notes, so that really brought that out. Nick and Norglass. Mixologist sounds like a fake word have. made to make the activities sound pretentious. You're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's not far from the truth. But yeah, that little bit of violet, like, lemon. turns that blue with, like, the rest of the colors of everything in it, and just that little, yeah. So just, press those oils into your drink. Gosh, damn. And they have a Takumi's Aviation. Take a look at that. Look at that fucking thing. It's so pretty. That's like the thing, like a big part is getting good basics. No, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. G and T is one of my favorite drinks. Getting a lot I, of, uh, I had never considered that that's what that is. I, I guess that's a... <laughs> that was already a thing. Earl Grey is just a much better than any other common flavored black tea. That's fair. However, uh, hold on a minute. I like being at a cocktail bar that makes a, a bad G&T is uh, sad, sad. No, yeah. But see, I, I used to be a trash drunk and I used to drink like AMFs, which if you don't know what that stands for, it stands for adios, motherfucker. And if you don't know why it stands for that, go to a bar and watch them pour one as they pour. <laughs> I believe it's what, like 7-Up, Smirnov, Captain, Jose Cuervo, Gin, Curacao. So it's like all of the... This is just like the ones that a friend of mine used to use to make it. So it's like basically all of the heavy liquors and like just enough girl drink stuff to like mask the fact that it's insanely toxic. Um, and it just tastes like a happy little fun citrus drink. And it will put you on your ass, my friend. It is. That was the first drink I got obsessed with when I was young. When I was young. When I was 21 and I could order complex drinks that I didn't need to, you know... Uh, that's the flaming homer. No, yeah, basically. It's basically just that, minus the cough syrup. Here, watch this. <clears throat> AMF drink recipe. Let me, let me watch a person do that. I don't know if they'll do, like, the bar flare of pouring it all at once. Uh, let me see here. Da -da 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 -da. Let's do the same guy. He seems to know what he's doing. <clears throat> Hi, team. Welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender, and today I'm showing you how to make <laughs> this thing is AMF. fucking nuts. When I re when AMF I think about how many of these I threw back, up. like it's I mean, don't get me wrong, I took my time on them, but I've definitely had more than one in a night. I was a very different person in when I was very, 21. Very simple, like it was it was different. <clears throat> you ever need to delete your consciousness? I recommend Mexican hot chocolate and whiskey. Oh my god, that would be that could be destructive because like I can't set right now. I just like chugged a bunch of caffeine because I can't stop drinking a mocha. Like anything that tastes like cocoa, I'm gonna go through it way too fast, and like that will be the hidden horror of it. But whiskey hits me like a truck. I can't do whiskey. All these ingredients. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, uh, Homer invented purple so drink. Now, now that I think and about it. No, yeah, kind of. The only alcohol I ever drank were a cheap glass. convenience store beer, which sucked, and bourbon, oh, which was the most vile thing I ever tasted. No, yeah, here's the thing, too. The last time I had, um, <clears throat> the last time I had whiskey, so I ended up at a distillery. I was, uh, on my way, I was on the gorge, actually. was going from Portland into, like, kind of, like, just South Washington end of, like, trying to go to this winery that a friend of mine belongs to. So we're going that way, and we're really hungry, so we stop off, and off the gorge, off this, like, beautiful view of, like, some water and some mountains, there's this little tiny strip of places. The only place that wasn't absolutely packed was this one little distillery. They had the finest, I mean, the bougiest fucking, like, grilled cheese you've ever heard of, and just, like, it was so good. But I was ordering the, like, nachos, which were, like, loaded with, like, beef and, uh, and avocado, and oh my god, they were, they were fuck, they were, I will never have nachos quite like those they were so so good but they had a flight of whiskey now i want you to understand something a flight of whiskey right it was eight dollars and i'm like okay it's probably going to be like a little bit of each one i'm curious let's go for it right eight separate shots of whiskey were set down in front of me <laughs> and i was like 
All right, here we go. Let's fucking go. I sipped on them very carefully, pounding water and food alongside it, obviously. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I got through it okay. Because here's the other thing. You don't feel as much like shit when you're drinking high-quality alcohol. Like, when it's not made cheaply, it, it doesn't hurt you as much. But, like, I was, I was very drunk. I was very considerably drunk. Uh, how much for the gun? Four dollars. How much for the whiskey? One dollar. I'll have the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, it was, uh, but it was good. Really, I didn't know there was like clear whiskey. I got to try some of that. Uh, very, very clean. That, that really, the, the things that don't have a lot of color in them, like some of those alcohols when they're really smooth, are those are dangerous. Those will get you in trouble. <laughs> Real heads know that ref. <laughs> I don't know that one, to be honest. I've done the Long Island iced tea, blue Hawaii, blue Hawaii. So yeah, you know, there's a little um, bit of like, you know, so a uh, little bit of sour blue, mash, a little bit know, of, you know, you got some blue curacao. Blue it's like, okay, right, so you got like some some orange curacao with the blue stuff in it, I mean, you know, is what that is. And then you just take all, like some Sprite and all of, all of the liquor. Just all of the liquor. I hung the sales rep for a whiskey distiller and we ended up with a uh, absinthe distillery in New Orleans. Holy shit, that's amazing. I only had absinthe once, and I was sad that it didn't, because uh, so that's the thing, for the longest time, I remember at least when I was around like 20-something, everyone said like, oh, absinthe makes you fucking like trip balls. No, it doesn't. Not, not even when you get it with wormwood, it doesn't. It's just, it's, it, it's just, it's alcohol. Now, if you drink way too much of any given alcohol, I'm sure you'll see some shit, but you know. Olive, the liquor. Oh yeah. <laughs> Olive. Yeah. <laughs> Also, hey, Yumi, what's up? And straight over the top. Uh, we drink from their wall of inspiration for a few hours while they talk business. Oh my god. It's really electric blue. I would be very afraid of getting loaded during a business That's, conversation. Uh, like, I could be... Back up. Like, they would take advantage of my trust if I was suggestible at that time. I wouldn't want to discuss anything, like, oh, financial or anything, right. like, severely changing to my life while altered. But anyway, while we're talking about being a nerd for tea, though, before when I brought that up, the one that made me a nerd nerd for tea was smoked tea. Have y'all ever had a Lapsang Sushong? And if you haven't, you absolutely should. It is basically like liquid smoke the tea. It's super fucking good. It's one of those things where it's like you need to accept that a tea is not going to just taste like tea as you know it or have any kind of sweet or like any kind of like normally bitter things. It's just... It's... A lapsang sushong, let me explain it. Basically, it's like a black tea that's usually, that's been roasted to the point of being um, fascinating tea. It's so good. No, yeah, it's amazing. Because I, I actually, why drink lapsang sushong when you could just pour some chimney ash into a cup? Because chimney ash isn't good for you. Smoke tea, like it sounds disgusting, but I trust you that it doesn't. Well, here's the thing. It, it splits everyone that I know. Whenever I brew some, you know, I usually brew it just for me because I'm like, I might be the only one drinking it. So I make like a small pot of it but like whenever i have people over and they want to try my various teas that i have because i love loose leaf tea and like i you know like i said i'm a total nerd for that shit uh i had that the first time at one of my favorite like high tea locations in my hometown and well not my hometown but you know my home state it was, it was a short drive but they did really wonderful tea and one time a friend of mine who was an absolute nerd for it who made me a nerd for it really told me have you tried this half the table was like this is the most horrid shit i've ever drank and i was like this is changing my life i love this this is amazing oh my god <laughs> like i didn't know tea could be this and now here we have it it's like the cooked gristle of of, of meat it's it's delectable how do you spell that? Sorry, I don't take tea. I only eat for tea. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me see. I'll, I'll spell it out here. Uh, Lapsang Sushong, I believe. Let me see. Yes. So L A P S A N G S O U C H O N G. I, I haven't had some in a while, and I really want to have some again. It's been quite a grip. But if you can get some good stuff, it's really quite something. I love the Chinese blacks. Give me some pure. Love that shit. But no. But no. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Like, black tea is great. I got a lot of different black teas. Uh, actually, a lot of it came from Owen. Y'all know Owen. Um, Owen sent me. Excuse me. I just burped. Uh, I have a lot of black tea. I got some white tea. Got a bunch of green tea. But 
I'm getting to try, I got to try like a first flush black tea for the first time. I'd never had that. I'd never had anything with that sort of like picking, you know, like freshness that like, you know, this is the first go of it in this rung of tea on this mountain. It's like, oh shit. Like, but as soon as I discovered places where you can order like, okay, this is, how do I put this? It's like saying, okay, this is going to be from this picking date on this mountain in this region. Uh, you know, like when you get into that, it's like, oh, you are done for. Your wallet is done for. <laughs> yeah, there's white tea. Uh, black tea is like very kind of like heavily uh, cured and roasted. Uh, so it's a little bit darker. Get like the heavier flavor with that. Um, the green teas, of course, are picked, you know, they're, they're roasted a little less hot. White tea is basically made like green tea, if I recall correctly. However, they're picked sooner, so they don't have as many tannins or as much like color to them. But it creates this delicate and really quite varied, depending on which one you have. Like it's a little bit lighter, a little thinner usually, but it, it, it's so, there's so many different flavors you can get out of it by like where you pick it and when you pick it. Uh, but that's uh, earlier picking. It makes for like more gentle leaves that have just different, different flavor profiles to them and they're quite the thing. Yeah, green tea, but uh, kind of grassy, very light flavor. And there's a lot of really good grassy green teas too, like Sencha's, I love them. Like a Japanese Sencha, I will drink that all day long. Like that's my go-to green tea. <clears throat> Was the best, we just got her overstock. Ooh, hell yeah. First flush Darjeeling has a similar taste to white tea. I, I could see that. Like I, I, I got into Darjeeling quite a bit recently. Like I started messing around with that and like, Trying to think what else. There's a couple others that I have just kind of started trying out and going like, oh, this is this is wonderful. Um, then there, of course, Essentia is so smooth. That's so great. <laughs> Breezy's serving the tea. I'm serving tea. I am serving Lapsang Sushang. I, I'm, 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 I'm murdered out. I, I'm dressed like a crow. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's, uh, it's good stuff, though. Tea, I could talk about tea for way too long, though. I mean, I, I used to watch this guy's channel, Mayleaf. Like, this guy, you want to talk about being a turbo nerd? This is like taking a college class in tea, and I would sit watching that going, cool. Don't get me wrong, I kind of tired of it after a while and just went, you know what, I know how to sip tea. I like ordering new tea and trying it. I don't need all of this, but like, it, I, I loved it. I love, I just love tea so much. Yunnan and Kimun tea, love that stuff. Yunnan's really good. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what are what are my favorites? Lapsang is like definitely the, like, those are going to be the more kind of out there, kind of different ones. Uh, when you, when you want to have something a little bit more um, hard to, uh, I don't really know how to put that either. Also, let me have something playing in the background here. So, <laughs> sorry, that was very loud. <laughs> but uh, whenever I want something that's a little bit different, I can always reach for that. A uh, good golden monkey is probably my favorite. Oh shit. You know what else? Like, I also love teas that aren't tea. Like, that aren't the tea plant. Like, uh, barley tea. I will drink that till the goddamn cows come home. I love barley tea so much. It's why I'm really sad that I don't live closer to the Asian markets in my city, because I... I want to get more stuff for making, like, takoyaki more regularly, and I want to get, like, just entire giant things of barley tea. Just big bottles of barley tea are wonderful. Um, so that's really good. But yeah, as for like actual tea leaves though, there's just so many. Chamomile is your favorite drink. Chamomile is so nice. Chamomile is wonderful. I know someone who is sadly allergic to it, which I'm like, I, I oh man, I can't imagine. That's, that's hard. Cause it's so, it's so freaking good. Uh, but that's a really good one. What else for tea? I'm trying to think. It's been so long since I like really took the time to nerd out with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> what was I talking about? I have a bunch of chamomile right now. Hell yeah. Um, but there's a, but yeah, you know, but like, but a lot of black tea, like a lot of the like heavier, more like bitter flavored stuff. That's the other thing too. If you're going to get into tea, be a nerd like me and get yourself a temperature controlled electric kettle. You will not get out of that out of like, you know, boiling and waiting and time for water. Like, just get something that will make it the temperature it's supposed to be to brew it. Maybe even pull it back a temperature. Like, you, when you get a new tea, when you get a new tea, you're like, this is my new tea. Mess with it. Mess with the temperature. There's a lot of different temperatures of boiling water. Uh, and, like, green teas, you want to be lighter on it. White tea, you want to be so light on that. Um, you know, so you, you don't just want to pour boiling water on everything or it'll just make it bitter and over draw too much out of it. A good tea, I don't think black tea works this way, but otherwise, a good tea 
that's like you know those fresher leaves you should be able to get two or three pulls out of it you should be able to like get like at least two decent cups or you know decent runs of a, a small kettle out of those and just re-soak them because you're not supposed to like soak them to the living hell you you soak them for a little under the time it recommends pull that shit out have that have the sifter like you know sitting in like a different thing like in a different mug or whatever have your drink then brew it again there will be different flavors here's where i get into being a turbo nerd i also have like a little uh like a little water bottle that has a, a thing in it like it's a what is it it's like a uh, a temperature walled like glass bottle that has a little tea basket in it purely for making cold brew tea so you just put tea in there put it in the fridge for like 12 hours what you get when you cold brew a tea is so fucking different from when you hot cook it and it takes all of the bitterness out of it and creates entire flavor profiles that you might not have really tasted at the end result of a hot brew so i will spend so much time <laughs> seeing how long at what temperatures i can do everything with a tea to get the full range of what it's about that's how much of a nerd i am that's what it's like can't drink black tea by any other way i am really sensitive to bitterness no yeah i mean that's the thing but like cold brewing it when you cold brew it Makes for some damn good greens, uh, some damn good black teas. Uh, I've, I haven't done a lot of like white tea cold brewing just because I haven't really gotten much out of it. I, I don't know if it's just like that, but for me, it never really did much for me. Now, what the hell was I looking for before we got into the mixology portion of the stream? Uh, we were gonna do. Oh yeah, let me see if there's any other. Uh, let me see if I can find some good um, uh, unusual memes. I, I think there's another one that I, I don't think I've pulled up here that recently happened uh you want to throw something on you can throw this in the background okay we can have this one for like background noise as well what do we got here we'll saw this then conan the barbarian the musical what what would this is this going to get me copyright striked or does no one want to own the rights to this <laughs> no okay good oh for sure miki you have a good evening take care out there uh, oh man, this fucking thing, this fucking thing, look at this fucking thing. There's a lot of videos like this, where someone will just put boiling water in cold glass, and for the life of me, I, I don't know why so many people were never taught that. You know, like, don't do- Oh! Alright, I can make this big. Big window. Uh, where's the web? There it is. Whee! Perfect. What? Something, something, nature. <laughs> Come on up! Come on up! Ah! <laughs> so much louder than it was before. I'm not even cutting it off. <laughs> Sorry, like I'm not meant to do what? You're you're not meant to pour boiling hot things into cold um into cold or like room temperature glass. It will it will shatter it. Was watching a lot of videos about parasitic fungus and ants. I imagine they've got quite a bit of it. How was that? What did we learn from it? What the hell? <laughs> He's never taught that. No, yeah, I, I don't recommend it. A lot of people find it out their first time when they try to ice a hot beverage in, like, ceramic or glass, and, um... Doesn't go well. Kind of explodes in boiling hot water and glass all over the place. Oh, you idiot. You idiot, dog. You trying to roulette those shots? Look at this shit. He didn't think about this at all. This is also, you know, Babby's first lesson in inertia. Don't do that. Why did you do that? It's bananas. You got to see it. It messes up their brains and makes them climb up high to make a spore out of their head. That is amazing. That is like disgustingly weird and alien, and I love it. That that's that. I love just weird kind of cryptic shit. Like not cryptic. You know what I mean? Like things that are just like real world. Like almost. Uh, What's the word for, like, Catholic things that are, like, otherworldly? It's so bizarre, but it's in our nature, in nature here. Weird stuff can happen. Oh, it's the thing that uh, Parasect is based on. Oh! Well, there we go. That's just impressive. Meh. <laughs> oh! 
What are you do- Oh my god. Does anyone know if that was expensive vodka or what? You're just chilling. He's just hanging out. What are you doing? Why- What? What the fuck? Why is he doing- <laughs> Also, the worms that make snails' eyes go bonkers, so they attack birds because the worm wants to be a bird. Oh my god, that's right! I forgot about that! Those, like, those parasites that just go inside of a st Oh my god, that's so body horror. Like, that stuff, like, makes me feel so uneasy. That's where they spawn. Oh man, that is wild. Humans can get infected by it, but it just makes you have headaches. I can see that. For sure. falls apart, and I end up alone. Is that like a lonely... what? Is that like a lonely horse? But no matter how many starts I get, there's a. <laughs> there he is. Just hanging out. <laughs> like that bastard got a high rise fucking apartment with a tiny little balcony and he keeps a horse. Granted, this is probably just a statue, but it's funny to think, you know? It's like our across the way neighbors who brought a husky into a small uh, uh, apartment, which is like, why would, you, why would you do that? Why did you do that? Anyway. What's the same ending? <laughs> Everything falls apart. And I end up alone. Insects are insects are fucking wacko. Like I, I definitely understand why Iba is obsessed with them. Like they're they're fascinating. What are you doing? 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 Oh, oh! Speak of the devil. We have an arachnid and insect right here. We spin. Oh, and that guy just lost his shoe. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a lot of frogs. Look at the trampoline. What? I missed the trampoline. Hold on, what? Oh, is it in the tree? Was that in the tree? Yep. Whoa! <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, oh, that wasp that lays eggs in a caterpillar and the larva come out of the caterpillar skin. The caterpillar helps them make a cocoon. Oh my god. I love bugs. I think maybe I'd go into entomology if I go back to school. Yumi, I think you would be an amazing candidate for that. Like, I have never known anyone who was so into bugs as you. Like, you would, because you have, like, that real desire, that real love for them. If I was going to hear a class be taught about bugs, I would want you to teach it. Like, hands down. I, you have my full, like, if you find yourself in a place to do that, 100% do that. Yumi is Iva. Yes, confirmed. Insects are horrifying. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> Love insects, but the close-up pics of them gross me out. No, yeah, same, same. Like, cause that's the thing. When you see them at like the size that you would see like the face of like anything else, it's it, it's oh oh man, it's so horrid. Hell yeah, fuck that dude. Congratulations, you played yourself. Uh, looks pretty fucking stuff. <laughs> like yeah. that gross butt. Yeah. Holy shit. Did anyone else get PTSD from that episode? Yeah, no, no, no. That. God, that fucked me up so bad. I hated that episode so much. It just jump scares you with suddenly loud buzzing and a close up of a bug. I hate that one. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I actually could not watch it. Like, that one was just. I had to change the channel. I couldn't even have it on. It was the worst. You love the butterfly episode. You you built different. I couldn't do it. Like I, it was so bad. Just because there's no there's no warning. It's just suddenly like ah. It's no no. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. It's so mean. They terrorized so many kids with that. Anyway, he's just hanging. <laughs> he's not getting that nail. Out. Oh. I jump at the side of a moth. No, same. Oh my god, that's another, like, that's the, I was traumatized by so many bugs when I was little. Like, but one of the times was, like, there was a giant moth on, like, the, uh, on the side of my parents' house. And one day I was just like, it looks like there's some plaster stuck to the side of this wall. What is this? And I poked it like an idiot, and it flew up at me, very loudly flapping at my face. I screamed and curled up into a ball for 20 minutes. Wasn't fun. Didn't care for it. 
<laughs> butterflies have beauty pearl. Here's the thing, I don't like butterflies up close either. I went into like one of those little like, you know, those rooms where you can be around a bunch of butterflies. And I was like, damn, that is a shitload of butterflies, my dude. And then one landed right on my hand and I realized, oh, these are bugs. I don't like bugs. Nothing against bugs, I just, I, I have a phobia. So I was like, I don't, mm, mm. I don't like this, you know, but I, I had the ability to be like, okay, I'm just gonna let this fly off me and I'm gonna get the hell out of here. <laughs> Went to a butterfly conservatory fairly recently, it was cool. They are pretty, like, all, all bugs are to some degree pretty, I just, I, I, I don't know. Phobia or icky feeling. That's the thing. I am I am needlessly afraid of them, but it's not too. It depends. It depends. Uh, one landed on me. It was great. No, yeah. I mean that's a sign of good luck. It's just that uh, when I was a kid, cousin of mine tossed the tarantula and landed on my face, and I passed out. I I could see that. Fuck that. Oh my god. That's that's so mean. I understand people have phobias and I respect it. No, yeah, absolutely. Because that's the thing. Icky feeling is like, ah, oh, that's a little weird. I don't know, man. I can't, like, I don't know. Someone I knew had, like, a pet tarantula and always asked, do you want to hold it? And I was like, I, I will I will scream, black out, probably throw it against a wall and my head will explode. No, please do not put that in my hands. I, I just, like, I can't. Uh, oh, my God. I just, just thinking about it. Just no. No, 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 no. I can't. Do, I, I think I do definitely have a phobia. Uh, the other one... I went to a sci-fi convention with my parents uh, many, many years ago. I was very small to the ground, and uh, in the desert, uh, back where I'm from, cockroaches can't really fly, but they can fly enough to jump at you. And uh, <laughs> there was one time where the weather kind of came in in a weird way, and it spawned a ton of them, and they were everywhere. Uh, and so everywhere you went, there were like some of them were stepped on and disgusting, and the ones that were alive were just, if you got near them, they would fly at your face. I gained a lifelong fear of roaches because of that. Like, I can't, I mean, here's the thing. That's one of those, like, I can understand it. Cause like, again, from the desert, most bugs can kill you. So you're already on alert, right? There's already like that, okay, I have this reasonable, when I'm walking, when I'm hiking out in the woods out here, I see like a golden spider and I'm like, okay, yeah, no, this is, that's kind of neat. It's kind of pretty in its own way. But when you live where every bug is probably going to bite you and kill you, that's, you know, that's a little bit more, yeah, obviously you develop a fear. But, like, when you're talking about... No, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't feel good about the fact that some of them were, but it was just, you know, it, that's the thing. It added to the gross nature of it, where it's just like, ugh, you know? But yeah, no, roaches, yeah, cock, roach. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that ruins it. But no, yeah, but that's the thing. With roaches, at least, it's like, okay, yeah, you know, they hang out in the sewers. They, they're, they're trash dwellers, like... It makes sense that from like a certain point of view, you'd be like, okay, they're they're not clean, you know, they they come from like usually places where it's it's filthy, so germ concern. I get that, but most bugs, it's like they're just bugs, you know. I'm getting used to bugs out here. I'll say that, and you don't see them a lot. Like I, I don't have, we don't have a lot of the same bug issues here. We don't. I don't think I've seen a roach since we moved uh, to the Pacific Northwest. I think they hang out somewhere in the wild, but. Because I, I don't think they're di I don't think they're not here, but I, I've, I haven't seen any. Maybe that just speaks to how well they keep this building. I don't know. But I know people who've lived here their whole life and they've never seen a roach. So I don't think they're as big of a problem of infestation as they were in my previous state. Have not seen a roach. Yeah, I don't recommend it. They suck. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever actually seen a cockroach in real life either. Huh. Well, yeah, I mean... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I have a big ass cockroaches in my office at work, but I'm also in like the basement. Oh my god, I, I couldn't. God, it worked. No, oh god, no, I could not handle that. You are a stronger person than I. Moving from the Gulf South and Northeast. Oh, will it blow? What's this? Original. <laughs> Fuck are you? What? What? What am I watching? What? What is happening? <laughs> I don't, I can't, this happened too quick for me to process what's happening right now. The shift from roaches are a fact of life to roaches are a sign that you're disgusting is weird. No, yeah, like that's the thing. There, there's places where that's just like super, super normal. Uh, let me see here. Um... Uh, this, uh, this is the sausage guy. Let's sausage. Best freeze. <laughs> no, yeah. Here, I'm gonna print screen that. We'll save that for later. I, I can, I can post that in the thing. You know, I actually, hold on a minute. Let me just, let me, 
Let, let's do this right now. Uh, let me close a few tabs because these don't all need to be open right now. Uh huh. Oh darn it! I didn't mean to close the thing. I didn't. I fucking okay. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me uh, let me get a photo p. Uh, open that up because I'm not going to open up an Adobe thing right now. And uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just. We're just gonna. We're just. Gonna, I'm gonna save this and I'm going to put it in the Discord. Okay. So let's just take that portion right there. Okay. Go ahead and crop that. Edit. Crop. That's not it. Image. Crop. There we go. And export. PNG. There it is. There's our boy. And we'll save. Perfect. All right. I'll save that in the. I'll share that in the Discord later. But we we've got it now. We've captured it. We've captured its essence. Uh, let me get rid of the. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> Post the not safe for work part. No, yeah, absolutely. You have to. <laughs> it'll just say, it'll say content warning. This sausage. Because <laughs> this looks like raw sausage, too. <laughs> Why are they doing this? No, I think I hate it too. I'm just enthralled. Okay, so it's truly wretched, but also you learn how to make sausage. No, oh, yeah. Just happens at the end of their videos. I. Why are they doing this? Okay. This is disgusting. We're stopping now. No, yeah, I. Somewhere, somewhere in somebody's like in. There, there is a man somewhere doing this in, in the most decrepit little room, and I, this, everyone's worried about him. I, I'm, I'm starting to get kind of concerned about this. <laughs> I can't see more. Uh, John Arbuckle, get our minds off that. Let's have a Go palette worsener, I guess. <laughs> no, the word disgusted is even disgusted by this. <laughs> hey, join the Discord! <laughs> I'll post that image in it later. Disco Elysium beginnings, everyone. <laughs> Look at this chud. Here it comes. You can just hear like the, the Garfield voice actor. <laughs> this woman is dead. That, that, that centrifugal force would kill her. Like what? What? She's... You've blended all of her insides. Her bones have crushed. Kick Garfield. Number stationing. Okay, anyway, 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 as I was, as I was. Did I already open this? Did I do the when did I? How do we discover? What are all these? What's happening? Porcupine, YouTube. Yeah, these things I haven't opened. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Let me make sure that's paused. Pause. We'll come back to you. Uh, what's all this then? Porcupine. I love them. Hi. What's going on? Sorry. Would it be okay if we switch seats so I could sit with my family? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I don't have much time. Where is this plane going? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? That poor little dude. Okay, what's this then? Uh, it's a pretty funky dance, Garfield. <laughs> it sure is a look. <laughs> what is happening? Battle music? This Final Fantasy VI. Japanese VI, not, you know, America Three. You can't even call it Final Fantasy Three anymore! <laughs> Please spare me my life. 
What's going on? What's happening? What? Oh my- Oh, this one! This fucking one! Holy shit! Look at this shit! Is she okay? Has anyone checked on her? Hi, I'm Janae from Mahalo.com, and I'm going to teach you how to make an old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. For an old-fashioned, yeah, you know this one. Bourbon, maraschino cherries, orange slices, bitters, <laughs> and then you can either have regular sugar cubes or you can use simple syrup, whichever you'd like, depending on how sweet Here we go. You want a little bit more liquidy. What your preference is. You want a little so more liquidy? It's all liquid. Glass, it's a drink. We're gonna take our orange slice wedge. And a cherry or two. I like to use two cherries just to give it a little bit more cherry flavor. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and Someone needs to check in on cube. this person. <laughs> so you'll see you have your orange, your cherries, and your sugar cube. All, all right, totally normal, right? Mash all of Looks that good, up. yeah. You get the mash in there, you know, yeah, get all sugar, those flavors in there. Perfectly cherries, normal. Everything no, yeah, she's nice. already wasted. Look at her. She is in no place to mix drinks right now. She she is is buzzed you don't at work. Have muddlers, you can see that I don't. Muddlers, you can see I don't. Food, she does sound drunk. Or whatever it is that you'd want to use to mash it up. Once everything's mashed up, okay. Put like two, maybe three dashes of your bitters. Sure. All right, we can do that. I'm gonna get an ice cup. All right. <laughs> she does a little bit. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, and got some three ice. Three ounces of bourbon. Three ounces, right? So this is a pretty I, strong drink. You, what are you? And you're emptying that Jim Beam bottle. Anymore, Stop! Actually. It's kind of like I said, it's an old fashioned. It's something that was kind of from prior generations. But <laughs> it's it called an old really fashioned good, because you'll be like saying canceled words when you but, start you know, drinking this heavy. What are you better, doing? What are you doing? What the fuck are you? You're gonna die. <laughs> you have one liver, okay? You need that to last you. What are you, that's, so dead. you just drink it out of the bottle, you fucking, lo oh my God. This might be my favorite video. It's a good one. It's a pretty good one. What's this one here? <clears throat> oh my God. Rainbow unicorn bang. I'm gonna get a bang from the fridge. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, okay. Wait, how much caffeine? <laughs> <laughs> Too much caffeine, Gora. Holy shit. There are 300 milligrams of caffeine in one bang. Your boy's gonna have 600 milligrams. Healthy? <laughs> Your boy. Adult baby? It's the Calliope. Oh god, it is. Oh no. Uh, how you feeling, Calliope? I'm pretty good. Calliope, whatever. It's just taking how much caffeine there is in a, in a bang. 300 milligrams in one bang. I have I told y'all the story about when I tried Bang Energy. It was one of those things that like it was. I've had that much caffeine before in other drinks, but I think there's something else going on in it that isn't just caffeine. That I think is whatever the hell they put into like the nootropics and shit that are in like you know some of the gamer supplements, where it's like even if it's less caffeine than you've had before, it should, it tried to stop my heart, dog. There were too many fucking stimulants in that thing. And it's, it's, it's dangerous. No one should just be, that should be over the counter with like guns and cigarettes. You shouldn't be like able to just buy that shit. Like, like kids, kids can buy that shit. Listen, they don't make energy drinks like they used to anymore. They're full of warnings that say basically don't drink that. That's the thing, you know how they say like, isn't meant to cure anything. If you have a heart condition, don't drink this. That's an energy drink. Bang Energy has on it like a fucking thing that just says like, consult a physician before drinking this. And they're not fucking kidding. That shit, they, I had like half of one once over an extended period of time with plenty of water and I thought I was gonna fucking die. Okay, it's a problem. I felt like I was ascending when I tried to bang. Never again. No, yeah, I, I, I genuinely thought I was going to die. You know, bang was only in GNCs back in the day. <laughs> yeah, no, because that's the thing. Unless you are, are doing, like, extraneous shit, bang is a big time scam. It is! People ask me about drinking a pot of coffee and then have, like, three or four monsters in it. No, yeah, exactly. Understand. People need to understand that, like, whatever you do to wake up, we're all, we're all drugging ourselves, right? We're all taking something... <laughs> I hate to be, you know, a billboard again, not yet sponsored, but that's why I drink G Fuel. 
the coffee, I love it. It's fine. It's quick pick me up. But you know, if you do that for the morning, immediate crash. Doesn't work for me. Doesn't do it. Uh, you need more often than caffeine. You need actual fucking vitamins. I don't get enough vitamins. G Fuel has vitamins. Those vitamins keep that high going, so I stay awake. Whereas just pounding like caffeine from coffee, which just makes you pee all of your fucking stimulants out and get rid of all of the things you have in you, vitamin wise, because urinating gets rid of all of the chemicals in you that you need to be healthy it just drains you out like that that makes you feel tired and shitty uh so it stops working after a while so that but you know it's been two years on just one g fuel a day and i i feel great i don't recommend the cans personally uh the the, the powdered supplement is what i use just one scoop of that a day i uh, it makes me the insane chaos gremlin that i am right now holy shit there are energy drinks out there with more than 350 milligrams of caffeine in a can no yeah they'll, they'll fucking kill you this is the there's like they when I was I don't know what it's like now but like when I was in uh, when I was when I would go to like music shows when I would go to like small festivals they'd just be handing that shit out they're just like here get them started quick so get them started early right um, and like Red Bull I got addicted to fucking Red Bull in high school uh, you know it's really really powerful but that was nothing that was nothing compared to like you know, that monster Red Bull those were fucking Kool-Aid compared to what they sell now they sell things that are like this you're gonna fucking die dog like cause it's not even just the amount of caffeine the sheer amount they pour in there but there's like other stimulants in it that are just like and the fucking like some of them have like like fucking nootropics in them you know what nootropics are you know the shit that they sprayed on spice like synthetic weed that almost killed a bunch of people that basically a bunch of like this might improve your brain power we don't know it's not certified by the fda but you can definitely put this in your body see what happens i don't want to do that dog that i'm gonna fucking die brain force plus no yeah like this this shit that's just like this don't do you are a, you are a guinea pig you are a test subject I looked up like two of the chemicals after I had that panic attack on gamer subs where I was just like what is this what's causing this most of the nootropic blends in there most of the nootropics that is there's like little to no at all testing on it and I had to deep search. I had to go beyond page two of Google do you understand that that is the deep net to me okay I had to go into the dark web and find information and I could find at least two things where like people were using that for like homeopathic remedies they're like oh, this doesn't have any adverse effects in like 99% of people you know what the other 1% has had though heart palpitations nearly having heart attacks actually having heart attacks uh, asthma problems uh, anxiety severe issues that this can cause because no one's done proper like actual testing on this shit yet and they're just putting it in stuff don't put it in stuff. Put use the fucking use the vitamins that we need that we know are are like a tested thing that work. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway, that's my that's my rant. Uh, I'm glad I moved away from gamer stuff. No, yeah, that's the thing. Like you were, I believe you were one of the people that I talked to that said like it just makes me tired. Like it doesn't work, and like it has less caffeine, right, than G Fuel, but. G Fuel never fucking, like, hurt me, you know what I mean? It never caused me to have a fucking anxiety breakdown and have to run for six hours straight. You're up super embassy by having rules. That shit has to be tested before, not after. Exactly, Nikabanu. Like Europe, the one one of the things they got super super right is like they they don't put unnecessary crap in chocolate. They make things properly, and they they care about what's in stuff. You know, it, it's. Man, imagine having rules. That would be great, right? Right? Like, usually I'm anti-authoritarian. I don't like rules. But make the rules that make sense, and we'll have to stop... Then we can stop breaking the rules to, y you know, get our rights back from the rules being broken that aren't really there. Uh, but, you know, that, that, that equal exchange. Um, <clears throat> American chocolate. I believe it's called vomit chocolate. Granted, you can get real chocolate from like small chocolate here. You know, you go, you get like just fancy chocolate bars out of the out of the store. But anything that's like considered like Hershey's or whatever, anything on the level of what in Europe would be like, you know, their their more accessible brands, nowhere near the same. Nougat here ain't shit. Uh, chocolate here, from like you know the Hershey's perspective, nothing. It's fucking nothing, dog. I want me that ninety nine percent bitter as fuck chocolate. Fun fact. If you haven't had dark chocolate since you started estrogen, and I know that a lot of people in this chat have that, 
it's different. It tastes different. It really does. Now it will affect you in a positive way. Uh, the, all of the theobromine in it will make you feel amazing. Um, but it, it tastes better. It changed. I don't know why. I didn't used to like bitter bitter chocolate, but then like after I, I was like a year into E, I tried it and I was like, oh, this is this is life changing. My goodness. Doesn't the FDA make uh, cyproterone not allowed there? Uh, so they're more restrictive in a way. I, I don't even recommend cypro. You know, when I needed to block tea, I haven't for like years now. Like I've already killed off that factory but when i had to block tea i was on a bunch of shit that didn't work but a doctor refused to let me try anything other than spyro and almost overdosed me to death but like there was and hear me out here there was a time i had biclutamide half a pill half a tiny little pill knocked all those levels right down permanently like i, I used that for a couple years and it was just it was gone okay but it didn't have some of the more like downer mood effects that cyproterone can sometimes have in people. So my doctor was like, try this. And I was like, well, shit, this is all we needed to do. Instead of like ODing me on a pill that doesn't work. Uh, I love 50 to 65% chocolate. Above that, it's too bitter for me. Under is too sweet. That's fair. And that's really, that is like a good kind of like sweet but flavorful chocolate range. I think like when I want to go ham, I'll get 99%. If I want to go, like if I want dark, if I'm like, oh yeah, make me feel those good girl chemicals, I will go for like a 99%. But that's not usually for just wanting chocolate. That's wanting, I want chocolate. Okay, I want to I wanna feel it. I want the chemicals. Yum yum, give me the dark chocolate. Hell yeah. But yeah, that's the thing. Like, but usually I just, yeah, yeah usually that mid range, you know. So, especially because that's usually where it lands if they mix in like orange peel or like delicious, wonderful things in it. Good girl chemical sounds nice. I, I, I get them quite often, they're good to have. Uh, I'm a cis male. Okay, so Magambo, it's probably not going to do for you what it does for us. Then it, it's it's a it's a thing that works with like female. Uh, um, um, uh, what do you what do you what do you call them? Uh, hormones. Uh, it's a hormone reaction, and it, it, it's wonderful. Uh, but it makes it taste different. I can't describe why. But after I after I got on the chems, it was like eating something totally different. It was ridiculous. Uh, but it also made me a better taster for tea and coffee. So if you are a flavor connoisseur, consider becoming a woman. Okay? Huh? Huh? That's some pro strat shit right there. That that's food appreciation 101 right there. Um, but you know for healthy adults, your daily average is about four or five cups of coffee. Oh, I that's think too so. much. It's the equivalent of maybe three cups of coffee. Yeah. Okay. If you throw back is this the what one, broke her and caused her to rap? Oh, well, maybe, is this? Uh, <laughs> I, won't this next I do not you. like her music. I, I I I kind of absolutely of hate it more than anything in the world. <laughs> Finally, chocolate for men! <laughs> e is a performance enhancing drug for tasting. Exactly! Exactly! No, yeah, like you got fucking. Hold on a minute. Sexism tales from Germany above 80% chocolate here is marketed as uh, Herren Schokolade. Uh, it, it's uh, Mr. Chocolate because it's for men. You know what? You know what the dumbest fucking like thing here that I've seen that is like direct to male marketing a concept? So, okay, listen, we don't have a bidet yet. Give it time. I hear that we're getting one for Christmas, but hear me out. What if, you know, you want to be a little cleaner down there. It's before sex, right? And you want to be super clean down there. So after you're done wiping, you pull out a wet wipe, right? Just pull yourself out a baby wipe and clean the hell out of that area. Amazing, but it's too it's too baby like and you know, the women ones are too feminine. It's too like no, no I'm a man. I saw there's a product called dude wipes. I'm not shitting you. Let me show you this shit Look at this shit. Hold on a minute. Look at th this fucking this is the most American and stupid thing I've ever seen Like dude wipe is what I would call the kind of person who buys these you know what I mean? Look at <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at the packaging too. It's it's like fucking look at this shit <laughs> <laughs> like what does it make you smell like axe body spray what's this fucking gun metal murdered out fucking dude yeah just fucking like just fucking like buy fucking like ass wipes dude it doesn't matter like you're just it's just gonna clean your ass not to dox myself but the inventor of this has my exact name holy shit <laughs> but it's just like you got it for free. I'll, I'll I'll accept it then. That's fine. It looks like a parody. It does. This looks like something that would be in like a fake commercial and a sit not even a sitcom, but just like a sketch comedy show, right? Uh, first thing you Google my name, you get this. Oh no! But it's just like, man, what a dude wipe. What a total fucking. 
<laughs> it's gonna get cis men to clean their ass. I'm for it. No, yeah, same. But also, it shouldn't take this. Listen, get some wipes. Get some fancy wipes. Hell, even buy some fucking feminine wipes, dog. Whatever the fuck it takes, just clean your ass. It, 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 why does it need to look like this for someone to feel secure enough to buy wipes, dog? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be this complex. What is this, like, oh my god, what is the, like, masculinity thing that makes people, like, so... You know what's really super powerful and super masculine? Not fucking caring about how you look when you clean your ass, okay? Like, you don't- this is- if I go to your house- listen, I'm- I'm- I'm married, right? And I have a girlfriend now, too, right? We're all- we're all happy together. <clears throat> if I was still dating, because I was bi, right? If I was still dating and I was dating a guy and I used the restroom and this was in there, not calling him back. I'm sorry, that is- that's like- that is a, like, I'm- no, I, I know it's vapid, but I'm like, I that would that would set me off. I hate that. <laughs> was. Well, I mean, effectively, because I, I, I found better, like, I was sexually available to men, and you know, but like, now I'm committed to people, and I, I match better emotionally with women, so, you know, I, I don't really, I don't fuck a lot of dudes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Are you dude enough to wipe your ass? I mean, save the president. <laughs> Are you a rat enough dude to clean your anus? <laughs> no, yeah, big red flag, absolutely. Um, but it's just like, uh, come on, man, like that... <sighs> come on, don't do this. Don't do this. You know what I've been using? Hold on a minute, hold on. This is like, um, um, what is this called? It's, I, I don't remember what it's called, but I've got some like botanical booty wipes or whatever they're called, and they look like the most feminine thing in the world, but they work great. And they're safe to flush, and they're made of bamboo. They're wonderful. Uh, 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 but yeah, Dove for Men. No, yeah, exactly. Dove for Men should have, like, guns on it and, like, gun plating metal lid and just, like, you know, I don't know, man. Like, can we, can we, let's, let's talk about that for a minute, too. My sister attended DeVry. When you go to a college entirely made up of computer nerds, they, there was a big, uh, uh, they would always, like, sell Axe there. They would just give Axe out there, and there would just be, like, free packages of Axe, like, please make yourself not smell bad. But then you would coat yourself in this shit that smelled terrible and was way too strong, and all of the scents would fight with each other. It just makes everyone smell like a horrid locker room. So, but, like, Axe, though, what was it called? Was that Axe? There was a thing there. But like, what what are the what are the the, the you the, the the things that like acts like? Here's the thing: female scents, right? When you get like a scent, like a perfume, you know, I, I'll pick up something that's like, oh, this is like candy peony. Oh, this is like a fine, uh, uh, you know, violet, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, other thing. And it's like it's soft and it's whatever. And these are the things it smells like. Scents in like soaps and scents for men are like brushed metal, fucking wood, steel, like. Those aren't good smells, dog. And also, those things don't smell like them. They smell like chemical garbage. Uh, <laughs> more so than they smell like those things. But those aren't enjoyable smells. But you, what, you need to smell like a fucking meat factory? You need to smell like the devices that chop pigs in half? What, 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 how fucking... At what point are you just smelling like... What are you doing? Why do they have scents like this? <laughs> like those barber shops that have sports all over for guys. God, I forgot about those. That was like a whole, like, they had like a, that was like a thing for a while, right? They had like a branch of like sports hair clippers places. Holy shit, that's right. Got a haircut in there once and hated it. I can imagine. How do you, how much do you have to focus on not cutting someone's ear off when people are occasionally jumping and screaming at something going on in a sports game? When someone pops off, like what happens? Like, that's probably startling as hell. There's probably, like, extra training to not freak out when that happens. <laughs> what was the tweet? Women are allowed to smell like real things. Pine, vanilla, men are not. What is cool sports? <laughs> no, yeah. yeah smell like sports and then brushed black gunmetal. Like, I don't want to smell like... No one should want to smell like gunmetal. That, that's, that's some sociopath behavior. That's what the guy from, uh, from like, uh, uh, Saw sprays himself with. I remember when I was a teen and didn't want to smell bad after PE, so my mother got me fucking Axe and it smelled like a dead polar bear. So I used it never again, because sweat legitimately was less disgusting smelling. No, yeah, I, I have some really bad, like, here's the thing. When you get, like, really good, that's another thing. Aside from taste, when you when you have female hormones, you smell more. You can smell more things. Like, you can, you have a better uh, olfactory sense. 
so like guy smell as i especially as i got more into like i mean here's the thing like a lot of women love it i love the musk of a woman i hate boy smell like i can't stand it it's too much it's too powerful and it's just kind of gross um being a girl seems like a superpower i'm not gonna lie magumbo as someone who's been on both ends of the coin it totally is like it 100 percent is <laughs> My sense of smell is always and is still bad. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Yumi. But for me and for a lot of other people, it really did make a difference. And so for me, because I never really kind of leaned toward the smell of fellows, uh, you know, from time to time it was okay. But just as I leaned more into it, I was like, okay, this isn't working as much for me. I slept with more guys when I was in boy mode. But like after I really started smelling things more, I was like, oh, this isn't good. But like, listen my wife though when she comes home when my wife comes home and i'm going to throw on some music when my wife comes home though and and she has been working all day and she's like oh i i, I need to take a bath i'm just like no wait can you please drown me in your hips like can you please just sit on my face please oh my god like the the smell of of a fine woman uh you know it just i i love like i have a thing for like pheromones i do like it's a problem okay oh that's so loud i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry oh god but like i have a thing for pheromones though and i love it like i am definitely an olfactophiliac i love smells okay but like i can't do boy smell anymore i can't do it, it it's it's something like just I, I can't i just can't how do you feel about your own smell though it's not bad uh the thing is like um and granted the your mileage may vary like it depends from person to person this is not a perfect vector but like you you know for my own thing it's like if, I've, if it's been like a couple days and I haven't, like, done, like, a full, like, deep clean shower. I will. Sometimes I'm lazy, but sometimes it's like, no, I can tell that I probably have a scent going on. It doesn't bother me, but I'm aware that being my own scent, it's going to smell different to people. So I'm kind of hyper aware, and I tend to be very clean. Um, but, you know, I, I my own smell it smells better than it did before. Because I, when, I when I was in dude mode, I stank, okay? I smelled. I knew it. It was gross. Uh, I was stinky, and it sucked. Um, uh, my sense of smell is too bad to be useful, but good enough to bother me. Fair enough. But yeah, like I was, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm aware enough that it's there that I worry. But I, you know, my own self though, I don't notice that as much. But like I also, you know, that's that's another thing. You know, you get on the right hormones, and suddenly it's. I don't know why it is either. I don't understand the chemical reasoning for it. But like you, you smell nicer when you're not uh, when you're not in, on boy chemicals, and I don't know why that is. I don't understand why that is makes no sense to me why sweat smells different but it hit different uh, <laughs> i don't know <laughs> some of the cis men have left chat <laughs> you're fine you're fine we can still hang out we can still be friends oh that looks so good god damn see i'm doing it to myself now i'm looking at this like man i want to what was that too what the hell are we looking at that was a oh a taro smoothie with cheese foam oh my god oh my god that foam though oh my god <laughs> i'm still in chat oh thank you Magumbo. i'm glad <laughs> those other three chatters were very rude my viewers went down and talking about boy smell <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, that's the thing. Everyone should, in general, you know, have some level of cleanliness about them for other people around them, if you're around other people. But, you know, you know, I I, I could, you know, I, I'm just I'm, I'm just very on it. You know, if you're not going to be around a ton of people or hell, if you enjoy it or if you enjoy sharing your scent with other people. Like, I, I don't know. I love being shoved in a fine woman's pit. OK, I don't mind it, but. You know, if if you have a smell and no one else has asked for it, probably stay clean. Stay just stay clean in general the most you can, unless somebody asks for it. You know what I mean? Uh, Got to get up at six. I need sleep. Okay, Nikibana, you go ahead and get some rest. I don't want to keep you up. I don't want to. I don't want to mess up your sleep schedule. You have a wonderful evening and take care out there. Okay, have good sleeps. I need a girl to share sense with. Oh my god. Oh, when you find a girl to share sense with. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's amazing. Listen, I don't... See, I don't know how much I'm allowed to talk about on Twitch, right? I don't do anything, like, penetrative, you know, anymore. Like, I, I, I don't know. What does more for me than anything is just, like, being straddled on my face. Like, that, that to me, just getting to deliver from that. Oh, my God. It's... You guys, you guys, listen, I'm so gay, you guys. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. I want this... I want these drinks. That's why I'm drooling right now. Look at these drinks. They're so good. Look at that milk. 
I bet, listen, I don't like milk, but I bet milk in other countries tastes better. What if, what if that's true? What if that's the case? What if, like, there's so many hormones in our cows that they just taste wrong, and that's why I've never liked non-plant milk? Like, can we talk about, I've talked about oat milk, but, like, oat milk is my number one, like, with a bullet. Uh, it's, uh, 100% has to do with, uh, wait, wait, hold on. It 100% has to. Wait, um, oh, oh, yeah, 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 about the thing, yeah, about the milk, yeah. Probably does. Colors do things for me. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, like, the, 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 the color of stuff, just, look at that. Like, that's, that's made, like, frozen kiwi in there, and that's just, like, it looks like swamp water, but it also looks delicious, because I know that it tastes amazing. Because I've had those kind of drinks before, they're really good. I need to get uh, the Amy Strawberry Shortcake Tooth. I do too, but I gotta tell you, like just speaking financially, like we're not in a place right now where we can afford to like just order random G fuels. So I, I go off the BOGOs, right? So then we have like, cause Jay goes through it too. So we go through it twice as fast as one person would. So I, we need to kind of keep the finances in mind, but the BOGOs haven't included those yet. They haven't fallen in that realm yet. When it does, I'm gonna buy the shit out of the Shortcake one and I'm gonna try it with some oat milk and I bet that's gonna be amazing um, but just like that even just with water I cannot wait to try that one the Amy flavor I mean if the other Sonic flavors are anything to go off of the fact that the peach rings candy flavor is my favorite G fuel it's probably gonna be amazing it's probably gonna be just fucking incredible I cannot wait gonna be great I will love it <clears throat> so that's gonna be good hey another link good we can stop looking at food what's this uh, we've got What's all this done? <laughs> I'm seeing some Delta Rune. This is bromine. Uh, no, wait, sorry, that was soy sauce. This is bromine. That <laughs> I remember that original video too. That's just like, man, chemistry's terrifying when you just realize, like. I mean, already, like, ammonia and bleach makes freaking mustard gas. Like, you don't- you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with chemicals. <laughs> As a chemist, I appreciate this. No, yeah. Yeah, bromine, not- not great. That's- that's a very volatile thing, isn't that it? Isn't it that it's, like, really, like, you don't wanna- I don't know. Y you know what explains a lot? One time when I was really, really small, right, I had to grab something out of the medicine cabinet, uh, and, uh, I accidentally broke a glass thermometer. And I was like, oh, what are these weird little BBs that came out of it? They were not BBs. They were pulling, uh, uh, um, yum, bro, me in. <laughs> but basically, these were like little bubbles of, uh, of, uh, uh what, what the fuck do you call that shit? Like, uh, uh what, what, is, what is in those? Why don't I remember? I don't know, but like that toxic chemical. And so I'm pushing them around going, why can't I pick these things up? And uh, to the horror of my parents, they discovered that. Is that why I'm like this? Is that what happened to me? Is, is that why my brain sucks? Did, that, did I just get mercury poisoning? Mercury, thank you. Yeah, that was it. That like just hit me. But like, is that why I'm like this? Is that what happened to me? why I have like all of the mental illnesses that I do. Cause listen, like I've got a, I've, I've got several Twitter headers worth of mental illnesses. And I, I, I wonder sometimes, sometimes I wonder if, if that was part of it. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Okay. Yeah, no, it seems like the kind of thing that if it was going to affect me, it would have just like killed me or like knocked off one of my organs. So I'm probably fine, but it, it's one of those like food for thought kind of like, why did I, why did, why, why was I in a place that that could have happened? I mostly looked after my parents more so than they looked after me. I it was, I don't like to talk about it. Uh, uh, though, depending on your age, thermometers might not have had mercury in it. Really? Mercury doesn't get into the skin very well. Okay. All right, because I've heard like the total opposite and it's just like, no, don't touch it, you're gonna die. And it's just like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Uh, let me let me see here, let me see what's going on. Let me see what's going on with this. Like a uh, thermometer, um, do glass thermometers still uh, have mercury? Let's find out, huh? You also, you shouldn't touch, no, yeah, you shouldn't touch them in general, no matter what. Uh, the oldest thermometers used are mercury and glass. Newer thermometers include non-mercury liquids and glass and digital and electronic devices. The sensors measure temperature thermometers. At what point? Yeah, I just broke a thermometer. What do I do? Poison control. Okay, let me see here. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, fever can be a sign of an infection. Other medical conditions used to be able to check the body temperature. Blah, 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 blah. What, what's, what's in it? What are the things? How many types of thermometers? The old thermometers? The mercury, blah, 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 blah. Well, it does. Is this going to give me a year? At what point? Did, I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm fine. I'm here now. We're, we're fine. We're alive. That's what matters. Uh, can we? Uh, who are you? Uh, ka kabocha? Um, 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 a blunt here. What do we? Let, let me let me just put on a little bit of. Uh, is there like a? It's like a quick little. Uh, what's this? What the hell is this? Hello, my name is my name is Ralphie. I'm driving a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> They're mostly alcohol now. Oh, okay. I'm driving a Mercedes Benz. My name is Mercedes Benz. What's your name, kid? <sighs> Mercedes Benz. Okay. <laughs> this was a fun thing. This was like uh, this this Bell Dolphine thing. This is funny. This is the uh, the Brad Taste and Music guy, like just basically making fun of VTubers, and he's not wrong. Okay, he is. It's so accurate that it hurts and it upsets me, and it's very funny. Um, <laughs> it's kind of my take on mainstream VTubing now. Like it's. I I have I got some spicy takes. I got some spicy takes. Uh, unusual memes. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Where did the Mercedes Benz thing even come from? I don't know. Actually, I actually don't even know. Boing. Monkeys. Wait. And on your head. Boom. Corner first. That man is dead. What's this? It, it, like it's uneven. How did that even happen? Funny. I don't know. I'm not sure why the Mercedes Benz. I I know like this. I know that just like this dude the, the, the chuffing a, a huge dart. You know, like he he's smoking the ganj. Genghis collab. What is happening? I I I worry this is going to be muted. I don't know if I can do this. From a quick search, looks like early 2000s was when Mercury was being phased out. It was definitely before then, and I remember it being very metallic and very ball bearing like, and it's like pooling. So I, you know, it, it's probably just it didn't get in. I probably just went like, "Hey, mom, I made a mess," and they were like, "Ah!" But I, I didn't eat any of it, so I was probably fine. It didn't get into any like openings or whatever, so we were, we're probably fine. We're probably fine. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, that's uh, that's fine. We we survived. Look how resilient we are. A lot of things in my life haven't killed me, and I, I guess that's true for everyone who's alive. But you know what I mean? I've had a lot of things happen where it's like I very much could have died. I very much could have died. Um, but here I am. I'm not going to say nothing can kill me, but I do know it's a uh, not a simple task. I, it's, you know, it, it's it's harder to kill me than one might think. Uh, where's my, uh, let me see here. Yeah, same, right? See, you know. Um, so like, yeah, it's amazing what we've survived. Look how resilient be we. Cut that bread. There you go. <laughs> Easter ruined. The Easter bunny is gonna come to your house and kill you now. What did you? Why did you? Why do you have just a bag of pepper? I think I had like four or five major emergency surgeries before. I, holy shit! I didn't realize. You want to hear something wild? When I get my, uh, unless something terrible happens before then, uh, my my first surgery is going to be next year when I get my my vajouche. I've never had surgery, not in my life, not even Brie before when my when I got my brain from her, when I got all that data from her. I have her memories, you know, some of it's pretty horrific, but I never neither of us have ever had surgery ever. I'm, I'm, I'm like 33. I've never had surgery. That's it's fucking weird. So this is going to be my first time. Ne never, never been on knockout drugs. Uh, it's going to be uh, a fascinating time. I do not know what to expect. Uh, I haven't had surgery either. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, and I, I, I think that's, uh, you know, but like, I, I, I can't imagine what all that was like going through when you were 12. That must have been a lot. Uh, I'm glad you're still here. You gotta love stock photo images. I also love how much we've memified just stealing these images, like, with their, you know, with their logos on it. Just because then we were like, yeah, we're not going to edit these out. Fuck it. This is my this is my thing. This is going to be my my thumbnail. Make that like there. That's good. Yeah, just a little bit of music. 
He's been through more more than what most people have had in their whole life. No, yeah, like that. That's a lot. Surgery sucks. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine. It's uh, I mean, I guess, and like you even have like you know, you even have like you know, you've had the experience with it, so like you even know that it sucks. Um, but yeah, it's uh. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it's gonna be weird. Uh, I've never had to have surgery or have it heal. Um, I don't know what that's going to be like, but I'm willing to do it for the end result. Um, I hear it's the kind of thing that you don't want to have done a lot. Um, you know, my part of my decision to not get bottom or top surgery is because the shit terrifies me. That's fair, you mean. Like, it, I imagine it's not something that everyone wants to go through, and nor should anyone have to. Might still want to have that. Uh, that's the thing, you know, wherever you really want something done, you know, that becomes the thing. It's just like... You know, is it worth it for that? Um, but I know that, uh, I know someone who got top surgery. Thankfully, my boobalas came in pretty well, as you can see. Uh, I don't, I don't need it. Uh, so that's great. Uh, would I like them a little bigger? Sure, but you know, it gets the job done. You know, th this, this, uh, this takes the tax off my donuts sometimes. But, uh, y you know, it's, <laughs> people be like, hey, uh, free food. I'm just kidding. No one's ever done that for me. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it ups your, your charisma. Okay. But like, I, I know someone who got top surgery, but that was the kind of surgery that's more gradual. So you do it in like, you know, different appointments. She was like, I should have done it all at once. Like, I don't want to go through that again. This hurts so bad. And I'm just like, all right, well, I'm going to get my thing done and just like scoop out the bits, sew it together. If we need to rev do a revision later, we will, but it should be fine. Just, just hopefully we can just do this once and be done. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my two reasons not to get FFS are one, no money in the way they're going to cover it. Uh, two, do not trust the medical field to not fuck it up horribly. Come to come to Portland. Uh, they've been doing it longer. They they have doctors who know what they're doing. And also it's free for me because I have state insurance. I, I You need to like qualify for insurance in my home state. And if I ever got sick, I was just going to die. But I can just get anything I need here. And it's fucking ridiculous that I ever had any other things. Listen, you realize how bad it is, like how bad like the medical system is when you live somewhere where you actually have medical care and you're like, how, how is I surviving? What is life? What do I do? <laughs> but so much is covered mostly because of where I live. Um, and you know, and so like come, everyone come to the PNW, join Wife City, B build our, our, our giant fucking gay mecca of the US and it will take over. We will win. What's all this then, Corgi? Load. Oh my God, who is this man? I'm terrified. What is, what am I watching? Ah! What is this? What is happening? What is this? <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the? I'm worried. What is happening? Hey, you're still going. How's the stream? Care of it? It's going great. Uh, I'm still going to be going for about 20 minutes. Um, we're just, we're still watching random bullshit, learning horrifying things, talking about surgery, you know, nothing but fun. Uh, let me, hold on a minute. Let me pull up something. I, well, here's the thing. I don't think I can pull up the music just because it will 100% be copyrighted, but I'm going to mute it and show you the shit that I watched when I was a kid. Uh, I had all these weird, like new age things, you know, you had people like, uh, uh, James Reynolds and like Jan Hammer and like uh, Thomas Dolby is a more like recent name, but just like in different like, you know, sets of electronic artists, they would have them score like over some of the many like early 3D stuff. Uh, let me look up here. A lot of the like kind of early like 3D sort of animation that they would do with computers. And just like, uh, you know, they would just have them like score music over them. But you see stuff like these in uh, like some of these clips are in like Lawnmower Man and a lot of like, you know, late 80s, early 90s, like animation and movies, because it was like, look what we can do with computers. It's so neat. 
Um, but I was just absolutely pulled in by the shit, especially when I was younger. Um, but it's it just like all of these, like, and some of them are like, I want to see if I can find some of them. Like there is one of these is like, definitely there's a couple of these that were in uh, Lawnmower Man, but I can't find them offhand. But just absolutely mesmerizing. Coco Melon got nothing on this hippie shit. Let's fucking go back to this. <laughs> but like, it's just really cool, really cool stuff. Heck yeah, Thomas Dolby. No, yeah, I believe he did Gate to the Mind's Eye, I think. Let me see. That was uh, uh, Thomas Dolby uh, Quantum Mechanic was one of them. Uh, I, I have that song, unironically. Uh, here it is. But yeah, like look at the look at the freaking look at the animation on this. This is where they're like a little bit further along, but it was still kind of the same sort of let's make weird amorphous stuff out of this. Again, I'll I'll, I'll spare us the music just to keep from getting muted. Uh, uh, you, you become a return person, but not for but for this. What do you, what do you what is a return per? Oh, okay, return to yeah, I guess sure. Uh, uh, but just for like you know, what happened to like old like reboot style like three D animation? Can we go back to that? Look how we're playing old like indie game style stuff. You know when indie games make those pixelated games from our youth. Let's go back to just making more stuff that it, like, we kind of are though. Like really, when you think about vaporwave graphics and stuff, and like going back to like remember. Everyone stuff looked like this. There's also probably some nudie bits in this I just remembered, so we can't fully watch this. But just stuff like this, you know, it's like where where do you where do you get this? But like if you go back all the way to when you had like the James Reynolds one, it's uh, uh mine's eye here. Oh, like it, it's so much simpler. Like you have like l less stuff to work with here. So you're you're doing uh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Wait a minute, just a minute. give me just a minute. Hold on a minute, wait a minute. Uh, freaking uh, over here, and then you've got. I want to see if I can find like the the unicycling though, like that weird thing that. Where the hell is that? Um, that's like, I don't know which one that was. Oh, is that in that one? That might be in that one. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Oh gosh, like, and I, I, you know, I know that I've seen, like, this one pop up in a few, like, uh, Vaporwave videos, though, like, later on. Weird little, like, you know, like, city skylines, little, like, concept uh, animations. Kind of happy we're seeing N64 uh, Pisona era uh, that I do the, the, the texture render jank. No, yeah, it's so great. But yeah, no, you see this a lot in like uh, just random playlists of uh, vaporwave music. Like this one pops up a lot and just a lot of those things. I think someone made like a little like unofficial um, thing for what, what was it? The, like the album by Vectroid, um, Floral Shop, made like an unofficial uh, video of just a bunch of renders like this. And this one was in it. Love me some good N64 graphics. There's nothing like it. People putting all the work in to make shaders that do the, uh, the texture render jank. It, it, you know, and then that's the thing. They put in all that extra time, and it's worth it, though. You know, it, it, we we, we, we want to go back to that. There, there was a certain innocence in it. Um, but there, there's one thing I want to show you that just still kind of, like, it was, is amazing to me. Other than also, I guess, like, you know, this, uh, where is it at? There's like, these gears. Let me find this stuff. Um, but just, like, stuff like this was just so fascinating to me when I was a kid. And so, like, I, I think this is why I have, like, weird, abstract, obscure shit going on in my head when I listen to music, too. This might have kickstarted all of that weird synesthesia for me. Um, but it's just like really quite so. Look at that. It's fucking sick. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> but like all, all of these sort of uh, all these sort of things. Uh, I don't know if I can find the thing, but there was like this one where it's just like it keeps panning out to this maze of a bunch of weird, like simplistic human bodies unicycling. And it just goes deeper and deeper. And it's, it's absolutely wild. But yeah, th those were these were the aesthetics I grew up with. This is why I'm such a fucking like late 80s, 90s kid. No, I'm a 90s guy. I, I was born in like 1990. I wasn't fucking I wasn't around in the 80s, but I had a lot of the remnants from it like carry over. And I, I watched a lot of that later. Giving Hypnospace Outlaw. No, yeah, quite a bit. It has a lot of that. Quite a fair deal of that in here. Uh, definitely got a lot from this. Um, but, you know, it's uh, it, it's really quite the something. Uh, let me see here. Um, speaking of that, like, man, can we talk about, like, Christmas Pain and Christmas Town? Should we watch that video now? Like, again? Because it, it is the season. It's coming up, right? And it's the only good Christmas song. <laughs> Like, I... I don't know. Hold on a minute. Let's let's just do it. Then I can put some audio on, because that's from a game, and that didn't mute before, so I think we can still do it. I think it's still just the game's music. So let's pull up uh, Christmas Pain. 
in Christmas Town. A uh, hot dad, aka in that game, Chowder Man. And let's hear the finest Christmas anthem of all time once again. Favorite hot dad is Taco Bell Christmas. Hell yeah. Can, can we can we watch like just videos by him without it getting ticked? I wonder, because I kind of just want to do that. Let's just watch hot dad videos all day. I'm gonna move me a little, hold on. I want this to be more visible. Let me just get that there. And I'll move me over a bit. There's Breezy, where am I? There I am. There we go. To open all my presents. <laughs> I miss his parody TV themes. Oh man, the Doug one is so good. Well, I know what we're doing for the remainder of the stream. <laughs> Should have been good ones. Could have been bad ones. Could have been only ones. <laughs> it's so good. Like, why don't- why ain't they playing this in stores? This should be the only Christmas song ever. You were here Christmas time in my home. The Santa Claus is crying and the child and man knows. Baby, I need you. <laughs> this is so good. Jay had a fucking religious experience the first time this played. <laughs> and people getting irrationally angry that they are wrong. <laughs> It's Christmas pain in Christmas town. <laughs> like, this is a Christmas song, and I haven't written anything anywhere near this good in my entire music career. It's so fucking beautiful. We love you, Chowder Man. But like this is, I'm gonna be playing this on Christmas. You know what I'm doing for fucking? <laughs> I love the cowboy hat on the Santa hat. No, the the fucking like the Santa hat with a wig over it, with a hat over it, is <laughs> so fucking good. Also the shirt with death on it is fucking amazing. This played in stores or on the radio, I might even be able to tolerate Christmas season. No same. Like, this is the only one I can say, like, this is just good. This is really good. I have not, like, personally chosen to listen to Christmas music outside of this song, ever, in my entire life. Jay Tholen is pretty brilliant. Oh, yeah. And that, God, playing through that game was fun. Was I still in the old body when I did that? Was that the old model? I think it might have been. But that was such a fun playthrough. I never finished it either. There's still, like, the remnants I need to beat of the end, but I was just going to do that in my own time, and I just haven't gotten to it. I feel bad. But, like, playing that game was so much fun. Curious to see what the Hypnospace sequel is like. Oh, they have a sequel? I didn't know there was a sequel being worked on. You cried at the end? Oh man, that's, that's fucking powerful. So do I pray. <laughs> but she ain't bad, so we ain't gon' kiss. Christmas time! <laughs> Who is that guy? Like, that guitarist was, like, one of the, like, stage performing guitarists in, like, an actual band, wasn't he? Really effective, even though it's 90s Iron Simulator. No, yeah, and, like, man, what a magical time to go back to, and how, for how fucking weird it was in retrospect. 
Everyone clap along. I'm probably missing it because it's probably a delay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, yeah, they did the Duke Nukem uh, pastiche, but uh, there's another thing coming up and it's uh, mining a later time period. No, for sure. I can't wait to see. I'm also loving, like, that's the other beautiful thing about, like, smaller developers and, like, indie games and stuff. When you don't have a major corporation forcing out a thing at a given date, Games turn out better, go figure. Look at things like fucking Bomb Rush. Look at things like uh, Cuphead. Uh, where it's just like... You know, it, it's these are things that kept getting pushed back because they were like, listen, we want to do stuff with this, and we want to do it well. And then it comes out, and it's the best thing ever. So it's, you know... <sighs> Pizza Tower! Another one! One of my favorite games of this year. How many amazing fucking indie games came out this year? Like, holy shit, what a magical time. I feel bad for next year having to compete with this year. I, I don't think it can. Like, fucking... So many, like, loved, like, you know, long time worked on projects were brought to fruition in their entirety this year. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. Music for animal cafes. I'll have to come back to that later. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Um, but uh, let me see here. Right, the the memes, the the the, the may -mays. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cat. <laughs> Didn't know it was a something awful project, was it? Oh, I didn't know. Oh. He's just chilling. Look at him. <laughs> See, that's an inflatable bird. So, like, that bird is like, yeah, I like big girls. Do you mean, like, tall or big? Hanging out in her tail feathers, like, oh, yeah, baby, let's fucking go. Hello, birds. And blam. Yeah, something awful. Oh, something awful is a real mood. I remember I used to show up at like uh, I used to look at a lot of like Photoshop Friday stuff. Like I would I would laugh for hours at, at the stupid jokes people would make with that. Like, but like now I think about it and I'm like, there's probably a lot of problematic shit in this. <laughs> <laughs> like some of the older ones, but I don't know if they still do that. I know Flash is dead, so like the whole Flash thing stopped probably being a thing, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, this year had stuff like uh, Slay the Princess, the... Uh, God, I, I was watching someone play through that! That game is so fucking creepy, and I love it. Uh, boy, it's Stranger... Stranger... Uh, 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 be genuinely surprised and delighted if next year somehow beat this one. Oh my God, that would be incredible. Like, I, I love being able to tell people... Slay the Princess looks amazing, no, yeah. I love being able to tell people, though, wait, there you go, that, like, you know, for all the time we were waiting on Bomb Rush, you know, and again, this was Cuphead Syndrome, it's like, they keep pushing it back, it's like, good, give them all of the time they need, I want them to make this everything they hoped it wanted, it would be, and it was, what would have been, like, I don't care about a new Jet Set Radio anymore, look at my branding, okay, I don't fucking, this, this is my jam, this is my shit, everything about who I am, me being a vandal, IRL, listen, I, this, this comes from that, this comes from that culture, uh, growing up around people in that culture and having games like that to glorify and show how awesome we are, and the music I got from that, everything about it, but like fucking, fucking, like Bomb Rush Cyberfunk though, I don't I don't need a sequel anymore to the to the original Jet Set Radio. They made it feel like how we remember Jet Set Radio, minus the mechanics issues, minus the camera, minus all the problems that you know we're blinded with by our nostalgia. It it's like what it we remember it felt like to play those back before those were perfected game mechanics. All of the quality of life stuff that was necessary to make a great game. And that alone would have been great. I feel like that game for me, for all of my like hopes and mild expectations, not wanting to blow it out of the water, but if I was asking for everything I thought I ever wanted, it doubled that at least. And I was, I was, I, y'all remember, I got emotional because I was like, what do we do now? It's the end of Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. What do I do with my life now? I, I don't, 
I waited so long for it, and it was so great. And I can't wait to replay it and unlock some characters this time, which I didn't realize was a thing that you can do in it. So I, <laughs> I need to get good. It's a lot like the original game in that right. So it has a lot of replay value. I'm going to play it a lot myself, but... Getting to play that for the first time was like getting to play Jet Set Radio for the first time. It was life-changing. I, I don't know how anything's going to add up to like having that, having Pizza Tower, having all of these games that came out this year that just fucking blew it out of the goddamn water. Because a lot of them were like years in the making, but I know there are some that have been years in the making that are coming out, so you never know. What the hell? That's his backwards bike. Is this the new sport backwards bike? Solo tandem biking? <laughs> you're not getting you're not getting away from the path, cat. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my What? Thanks for calling Newcastle Basketball. What the hell? We will be closed over Christmas from Thursday, December twenty. There I go. Hello. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> Leave that cat alone. Oh, Your biscuit, it keeps dissolving. You gotta eat that. Oh. <laughs> That's just gonna turn into a coffee cake shake. Aww. <laughs> Pro strats, check this out. Boom. Done. Now it fits. Perfect. Could have put it in sideways, but yeah, that too. Let the power shine. Oh, did her dirty. That man's very upset with that gambling machine. Oh, there you go. Like, oh, is it okay? Oh. <laughs> no, the pufferfish is great, though. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, nope. Nope. He's just kicking it further. Oh. See, this was me trying to do sports when I was a kid. That That's... We, I was not going to be a uh, an athlete of any kind. It was never going to happen. <laughs> that chasing a ball thing is the worst feeling. No, yeah. Like, that is... It's just, oh my god, especially when there's like a team mad at you. It's the worst thing. Nothing but judgment. Like, listen, y'all can judge me all day long when I'm playing games. Haha, -ha, funny streamer bad at video games. But like, when I'm forced to be in a team of people who all lose if I fuck up, that's the worst. Because I know that I suck and I didn't want to be involved in the sports in the first place, right? So it's just like being forced into a losing position where everyone's mad at you. Competitive sports should be taken out of schools. There, I said it. Excuse yeah. me? <laughs> How much is this? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> no mood, though, for sure. But no, yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't make people work out. I had asthma really, really bad. Making me work out was was offensive, and I hated it. <gasps> Superm! Yo, they got Superm here! I... Does, does it make water come out? Can you make water come out of that faucet? If that's the case, that's the best hood ornament ever. No, that's false. It's the best hood ornament ever if it makes G fuel come out of it. Physical exercise? More like public execution. No, yeah, exactly. It, it's, it's, oh, it, it yeah, is, it is prejudice know. against people with breathing it's issues. Part, it's part of life, you know, I'm turning into I, I, I got a D minus because they couldn't technically fail me in PE. Every year of school. I did not have any good grades in anything. I want you to understand that I was a fucking failure, all right? But that one was not my fault. That was genetics. <laughs> the one thing if they taught you how to exercise effectively. No, that too. It, like, and, but, you know, if you're not, like, to their standard, if you're not of a typical young, healthy body with no allergies and with no asthma, then you're doing it wrong. 
And it's like, dog, what do you want now from me? But yeah, like if they were good at their job, they would teach me how to do things that were, you know, good for me, that worked for me. I got a P exemption because of marching band. Oh, that works. You could march? There's no way I could have carried something and walked that long. This is pretty bad, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Practice like three times a week. Oh my god. Just uh, this is how you breathe. No, yeah. That's the other thing. Here's the thing. There is like a way to breathe like when you're working out. For weightlifting, when you're pushing away, you know, for like when you're running, for cardio. I was never fucking taught that shit in school. Never. Not for the cardio classes, not for like the like weightlifting stuff. No one ever told us. They're just like, run. You should inherently know how to run. And I was like, I was like a fat kid who couldn't breathe her whole life. And I was like, dog, what the fuck are you talking about? That, that I will die. It is 100 degrees outside, maybe 110, depending on what time of year it was. And like there's dust in the air and everything is smog and it sucks. And you want me to fucking run? Are you kidding me? And I, I almost blacked out one time, and then the teacher ran up to me eating chips going, Why aren't you running? You need to be healthy. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that she's dead now. So, you know. <laughs> Who won, huh? 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 Take that, miss whatever the fuck your name is. I don't even remember, because you don't deserve it. Uh, I got some of it because my parents are singers. Oh, there you go. No, yeah, I had to learn that naturally when I was a punk singer. I had to learn how to, like, you know, do that for, like, performative stuff. But, yeah, that's why you practice. That's why you practice. But, uh, you know, I wasn't practicing running because running was a death sentence then. Now, in my neighborhood here, where I live in a coastal state, running's easy. Uh, you know, I also have proper medication to deal with my breathing issues as opposed to just having emergency answers to it. Uh, so I can actually breathe better here. And I love that. I love not having an ascending out of my body death spiral every time I can't breathe perfectly well. That, that's really nice to have. Uh, insurance, if you can get it, I, I recommend it. I am Dr. Breezy. I've checked in. I am your armchair uh, doctor. I'm not a real doctor, but if you have any questions, I'll tell you something and you can work with it. Uh, uh, PE was my worst subject until I got essentially freed from grades because my asthma was too bad for my doctor told me to the school that I could be punished for uh, school could be punished for not being able to breathe. No, no, yeah, exactly. Like, like, like that's the thing. Like, you can't do that to people. And, and like, I think I had a doctor's note. And then like my 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 teacher just said, like, that sounds like an excuse to me. I don't fucking care. You got you to do this because this is my class. I should have sued them. Like, hands down, I should have sued them, and my parents were too lazy to do it. We could have made some money, made what was left of the Phoenician school system, just wrung it dry. Fuck them, they're not using it. I know for a fact by the way they were using it. Ran a seven minute mile once and holy shit, for Kung, what are you, are you fucking, what's his name, Usain Bolt? What fucking, like, that running dude? Uh, was my, I say that running dude, but listen, he is kind of like known throughout the, the, the world as the guy who run fast. Uh, Unfortunately, the run was 1.5 miles. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, Mr. Running. <laughs> that's, his, that's his dad's name. Please call him Bolt. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hey, look, it's 8 p.m. You know what? Uh, I've been at it for uh, three hours. Uh, this was a later stream. So, y'all, thank you so, so much for coming by. I love hanging out and just doing, like, kind of casual stuff, getting time to just show off my brand new pretty model. But tomorrow, tomorrow at uh, the usual 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. ET, we're going to go back into uh, Somnium Files at the proper time because I, I won't have a weirdly having to move it uh, scheduled uh, thing with my therapy that makes it hard to do. So, uh, uh, yeah, that'll be it tomorrow. Hope to see y'all there. For now, let, let me just send everyone over to the happy little world we know as... Uh, they're on good old boy, Madame Super the best show. There's just who do we go to? Who's on right now? Action Shakespeare. Let's go say hi to Action Shakespeare. They're playing fucking Final Fantasy three. We were just talking about that. We gotta go do that. Let's go say hi to ACTN Shakespeare. I, I'm gonna have to like copy their name. I am so I can't spell you guys. I'm really bad at spelling.